Your attention, please. Ladies and gentlemen, hey, Halton Buffalo fans, Chuck Morgan here, the voice of Globe Life Field, home of the Texas Rangers. You are listening. Five receiver set, three to the right, three to the left. Five receiver set, three to the right, three to the left. Can't hear it in the headset. Well, <laughs> folks, I, I, we're I live. Don't, I don't. I, we're, <laughs> Jack's. This is his last year. So. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Might be an I, indication. I don't, I don't, I have I don't, no don't get it. <laughs> no, he's he's not suited up. Yeah. No, he's not. He's are live, we live? Yeah. We are we're live. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to tonight's district matchup between the one and zero Halton Buffaloes. At the 1-0 South Lake Dragons. We are here in South Lake, Texas, overlooking literally just right behind the visitor's side where Halton's sitting. We, we're staring at Grapevine ISD Stadium. So there's a game over there, and we can almost make out the score because uh, we can see the 11 minutes and 28 seconds till kickoff over there. Okay, you can see that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy as close as yeah. these two stadiums are to each other. Uh, we hope everybody's oh. doing good. <laughs> Not sure what Jack's got going on. Hey, right, get, please, uh, please, if you're out there, let us know you can hear us. Everything's going good. Uh, we are having some technical difficulties. Try not to. What you listen in on? So, uh, captains for the Buffaloes, number 11. Stephen Couture. Number 9. Xavier Bird. Number 21. That would be Cam Starks. And number 23, Pedro Acevedo. There it is. Captains for South Lake are number one, Eric Garza. Number 28, who was injured, Aaron Sherp. And it looks like number 44, Dustin Mark, who looks like uh, he could start for Alabama right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, their starting quarterback, number 10, Graham Knowles, who's been their leader so far in the first four games uh, for South Lake, is actually injured and not suited out tonight. South Lake has won the toss. They'd like to receive. Halton City will kick. Halton City will kick. Yep, so we are going to kick off. One thing new about Halton, if you can tell, we've got, we're have got we wearing black helmets tonight. Black helmets, white jerseys, orange numbers outlined in black with black pants. It is gorgeous. Uh, Jack, you're going to take our faces off the deal. I did. Oh, he did. Okay. Okay. There you go. So we're getting ready. Uh, South Lake's coming into the game 4-0. Uh, Halton's coming in. I'm actually going to say 1-2. Uh, we had that canceled game uh, for some no reason. Contest. No contest. No but contest. But Boswell went on max preps and counted it as a win for them. But I don't think they were going to win that game, actually. They uh, they canceled that game. So, well, uh, so, <clears throat> so Halton was getting ready to come out of the field. Those uniforms look really nice, Joe. I like those. They really do. They uh, they have the new uh, shell on their helmets, a uh, black shell. Uh, I believe next week. We have an orange chrome shell coming yep. in that they'll be able to put over. Listen to the band. Look how loud they're getting. We don't have a big crowd tonight. And it's there's not, our crowd. Yeah, it's not far from Haltham City. You guys come on out and support these boys. After the win last week over Keller Central, which was an amazing victory. And I guarantee you, the last two games that the Haltham's played, they have a win. The no contest against Basel, I think they would have pulled that out, and we should have beat Richland there in the last moments of that game. So, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, we have, uh, we've we made some progress this season, yeah. you know, already, and I think the boys are really starting to buy in. Um, I think uh, defenses are having a hard time figuring out what we're doing. Yes. Yeah, or right. not, not figuring out what we're doing, but how to stop it. Yeah, how to stop that wing tee offense. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure what Southlake's got going on here. They're getting ready to they come out. It. They've got – I think 18,000 in attendance here on their side, and 6,000 of that are their youth football programs. <laughs> but we'll just listen. Uh, it's hard to talk over them, so we'll. I, I have no idea what's going on, but okay. No, I don't either. Uh, it is homecoming night uh, for 
South Lake. And let me go ahead and get this out of the way. The views and opinions expressed by the Halton Buffalo Broadcast are not those views and opinions expressed by the Birdville Independent School District, Halton High School, or Coach Tucker and his staff. Those that they are ours and ours alone. And now that we've got that out of the way, the mums are ridiculous. Let's go ahead and say that. Uh, It's kind of like a popularity contest where how can you do that? Because... You know, the way it is now, it's like if you don't have 34 mum flowers on your mum, you may be looked down upon. I don't know. But, and look, that's how they got lined up. They start with like 34 all the way down to one. Yeah. I don't get it. Well, wow. at what point does a helicopter bring in your mum? They're getting close to that. Uh, they, they, it's, homecoming is absolutely ridiculous these days. It is a um, – I feel sorry for the parents these days yeah. that have to do that. and then Honestly, I feel sorry for the people that make those things. You know how long it takes to make those? I've, I've seen them done. We've wow. done them. But, yeah, you can't feel that sorry because they're making some money off of those things. Oh. Uh, It'd be easier just to take a picture of, like, a flower field, right, and then just <laughs> pin it. <laughs> you know, Ma- so Megan, uh, when she was at Halton, uh, Megan's an unapologetic nerd, right? So she had the TARDIS. It was all about the, like, what was, what she thought was cool. And, it's, I mean, it's all over the board what they put on these things. I, and they spend a lot of money. Uh-huh. That's yeah. what's crazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure I... I would have just said, I'm not going to take anybody to homecoming if I could buy that thing. <laughs> well, we took you. You still have yours that we, well, we that's, took you. This so. is true. I'll bring that back for the next homecoming. So South Lake has a, a 12-minute pregame, it looks like. Now they're finally coming out of their tunnel after they played music. They lined up. I was going to see if there's any smoke coming out the nose there, Joe. But no. The dragon, uh, it's not the Game of Thrones dragon. Theirs no, is more like that little not. kid dragon on, t- on the cartoons. I but. will say this, guys. I, I do like uh, busting through the paper. You know what I mean? That's yeah. old school. I, I like yeah. that. They yeah, do I that. do too. It's kind of, is it paper, paper? It is paper. It is paper. Somebody will complain about the trees. But, you know, mm. That's kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> but, I know I do like that, too. It looks, it looks good. It looks classy. It you does. I mean? Really. That's just old school. Mm-hmm. i tell you what was really neat. Slipping through TikTok. Which I injured, I injured myself doing that Tiki like four weeks ago. So looking at today, somebody posted, <clears throat> remember the drive from 86, uh-huh. Jack with Elway coming oh, down yeah. on the drive. Remembering those old football days on the natural grass with the big shoulder pads. Mm-hmm. No roughing the passer because, you know, somebody yeah. blew in their ear, you know, back right. then. <laughs> and uh, the way it used to be played, old school. It, that was awesome to see, and they were—you could hear the pads popping. Oh. Mm-hmm. But you are right; the quarterback pads back in those days—they—they <laughs> they look they like linebacker huge. pads, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Not me. really sure what's happening now. We're getting ready what, for the what, national. What's anthem. going on? Oh, here we go. Oh, oh. Well, yeah, right, can you, you hear were... us okay, folks? Can you hear us okay? We were—we we're, were worried about that. You know what it is? It's this board. That Jack uses. Right nah, now. it's got too many Because you remember, we use this one, the one we yeah. use. We don't have issues. Ooh, no jinx in it. I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, I can grab out my my computer. We're we're good to go. I mean, this is a complete spectacle out here on pregame. Do they do this every game? I think so. So, Mark, you can hear us. Thank you. Besides the uh, homecoming stuff, they do the big to do. Hey guys, are we gonna do? Um, Volleyball, basketball, anything else this year? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm good. You guys let me know when. You let me know. I can't do Tuesdays. But volleyball would be fun. Yeah. We did a few of those. Are we getting ready for the national anthem? I think, I think so. we are. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Took- Joe, can you stand? I know you're you're suffering an injury right now. And now <laughs> left <laughs> extremity injury. With the singing of our national anthem, as performed tonight by the Dragon Choir.
the Dragon Fire. And we are getting ready to kick off here. In yeah. Game number two of district play. Again, Holtham is, well, right now, they're in second place because who won last night? Byron Nelson. There's 2-0 oh in district. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> Next week, we are on a bye. We have no game next week. But you know what you can do next week, next Saturday and Sunday while we're waiting? You come out to Cowtown Comic Con at Will Rogers Memorial Center in Fort Worth. Come on out. Tickets available now at CowtownComicCon.com for $15, $25 for a two-day pass. You've got artists, cosplay, anime voice actors and actresses, and more. The Star Wars groups will be out there all dressed up in their outfits. You don't want to miss out. That you is can, Cowtown can Comic Con. You can sit at the cool kids' table. You can. That's right. <laughs> that is next weekend. Uh, who knows, man? You might even have a surprise visit from the Spicy Spotter. You going to come out and go live? Oh, yeah. Joe I did might, that one I, time. Remember Coach Tucker came out? Yeah. We, uh, yeah. It was over at Hearst. I think I might I might just get a booth and sign autographs. It's booths are sold out. Sorry. Yeah, we can put you over booth. by the men's restroom. I'll make my own booth. <laughs> <laughs> While we're getting ready, I believe Jack has some new sponsor ads <coughs> for us. Well, I... He wasn't ready. No. Got him all I'm run, well, I'm running two things here, guys, tonight. Don't forget that. In the market for a new vehicle? Then come out and shop with Monty Kuhn and the fine folks with Moritz Chevrolet. Let Monty get you into that new car, truck, or SUV. Moritz Chevrolet is a proud sponsor of the BISD broadcast located at 9101 Camp Bowie West in Fort Worth. Kicker. <laughs> well, it looks like we're getting ready to kick off here. High above uh, Dragon Stadium, South Lake, Texas. Haltham will be kicking off, going from your right to your left. So Hayden Jackson's back to receive deep for the Dragons, uh, lined up on his own seven-yard line. Kicking for the Buffaloes is Isaiah Vitoles. And Jacob Jordan back deep to receive. Here we go. Buffaloes and Dragons. Are underway. Little Got pooch kick. Yeah, whistle. 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 Off sides on Halton. Is that what it is? Yeah, I don't know. What's it? it probably is. I would hope not on the opening kickoff of the game, but. Delay of game? Yeah, delay of game uh, on us. They fed us good here. You, you had your choices of chopped barbecue, hot dog, Chick-fil-A sandwich, uh, or, uh, pork sandwich. Melted chocolate candy. <laughs> <laughs> Nerds. And big boxes of nerds. Nerd. I'm not eating the nerds. It's the rainbow nerds. I'm the Joe, Hershey's those are for you. Bar is really I don't eat those. Mushed. But I had the Snickers. All right, so here we go. Here we go again. Try this again. Vitola's Buffaloes the kick. and Dragons are underway on a little squib kick that gets right to number one here at the 30 yard line. He's going to bring it around the outside. He's going to be hit at the 40. He fumbles he the ball. It. And. Um, Southlake got back on it yeah. at the 45, recovered by number 11, Brock Boyd. So Eric Garza on the return for the Dragons. He's the one that coughed up the ball. So let's see who's going to start, Chris. Number two or number 12? I'm not sure. We're about to find out. I see number, number two. two. I told you. And Angelo Renda is coming out, the sophomore quarterback, as Southlake starter which is Graham Knowles is on the bench with an injury. Southlake's coming out in the pistol set with one lone running back. They have three receivers, two off to the right, one to the left. Uh, man in motion coming across, who's Jacob, Jacob Jordan. Jordan. And then Caden Jackson, number four. And Renda is going to throw a little screen pass out to number seven, who's Jordan, who's going to be brought down for a, almost a loss. loss of one. Harkless. 
Yeah, he was it Harkless? Yeah, he gets right back to no, the line of scrimmage. It was number nine, uh, Xavier Burke. I thought it was number three. It was both of them. Yep. Hey, it was good coverage by the Buffaloes. I like to see that start. Four receiver set this time for South Lake. Tight receiver set. Four's in motion. He's it's going to give it to four. He's going to be running out. Oh, oh, look at the hold over here on six. They're not going to get it. The yeah. receiver is going to go in for a touchdown for South Lake. Yeah. They had an offensive lineman literally grabbing wow. uh, Jallo's jersey running down the field, which was plain as day. And you know that that counts as a touchdown pass. Look, Chris, it yeah. was a little pitch to That him. little pitch, yeah. As, as he ran by, a little sweet pitch. So second play of the game. Number 83, Kyle Linderman. Is that who's kicking? Yep. Kick is up and good. Wow, he's got a leg on him. 11-13 to go here. Uh, South Lake is up 7-0 on the second play of the game. Real uh, public service announcement, announcement here. If you have bought a mattress from Costco, you may want to return that. They've got them being recalled, 48,000 of them, for possible mold, Jack. So <laughs> That seems like a random thing yeah, to be talking about. Yeah, it just about, popped up on the phone. So, yeah. you know, might as well share that information out in case somebody over the last week has gone to Costco. Again, the uh, comments and thoughts of this broadcast are solely out. No, that's pure fact. I know, though. but I'm just saying... <laughs> When someone asks me, when is the best time to start saving for retirement? My answer is simple. It's today. Hi, I'm Jack Webb, an Edward Jones Financial Advisor. I can help you identify your unique goals and help you build a strategy to achieve them. Our phone number is 817-460-5311. Edward Jones, member SIPC. How about that? Do That's they a have a, a gun? Yes. Yeah, yeah they, okay. you did see they had the no, Seth. No, I was Seth. Like, Cannon is what they're calling it, and they have their dragon mascot is shooting stuffed animals. Holy cow, I saw that thing fly by, and I was like, mm -hmm. dude, did somebody throw that? Yeah, no, they have a like, stuffed, that should be the stuffed starting animals quarterback. <laughs> so right now, if you're just joining us, uh, South Lake's getting ready to kick off, and here we go. They're leading 7 nothing. It's going to be a deep kick all the way to the end zone where Jallo's going to take it and touch it. It's going to be a touchback. Halton's going to come out, first and 10 from the 25-yard line. We've got 11-13 on the board. Need to give time, guys. Need to give time? Yeah, okay. I don't I don't have any camera on the time. Oh, good, so We tried to put up a camera. Uh, hey, look, there's a Jack, spammer. Jack, T C Y Sports. <laughs> yeah. They scored on the second play of the game. Second play hard, of the yeah. game on that little. Hey, look at the end zone over there. What is that, a portion of Audi yeah, or BMW? It's, it's, yeah, it's ridiculous. We're That's not going to show them because our sponsor is Marit Chevrolet. Yeah, we're not going to show those. So here we go. Uh, Ashton Moore in at quarterback. He's going to keep it himself, run up the middle. Uh, gain of three. Three? Yeah. Yep. Good hard run by Ashton. And a little slow to get up. Clock is at 10.58 here in the first quarter. You could just show the board. I could, but I don't want to. Okay. And actually, I can't. Look that here. looks like a middle school game. If you look at their board over there, that, that's what it looks like. So, Jack, yeah. that'll be your job tonight. Time. 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 Okay, Time. Good. Time. Time. Good. So here we go. Two receivers set off to the right. It's going to be uh, DQ Barnes and Jallo over here on the left. Running back Roberson is Devin Ramirez Powell, number 20. Uh, he gets it, and he is taken down for a loss of one. Trying to run over the right side. That went nowhere. It's going to bring up third and long for the Buffaloes right now. With 10-13 left on the clock here in the first quarter. Hey, has Devin got a different number on? He does. He's wearing 20. Yeah, Who? what did he have last week? He had... I wasn't here last week. He was six. He six. So he's moved, he's changed to 20. Yeah, for some reason. I wonder if they didn't have a six in this jersey come in. Maybe not. That happens yeah. sometimes. Mm -hmm. Manufacturer, so. 
So we're looking at a third and seven little pitch over here to Roberson. Roberson. That goes nowhere. A uh, loss. Looks yeah, like. it's going to bring up a punt situation for Halton here. <laughs> Grady Tucker is going to be back to punt for the Buffaloes. Deep to receive for the uh, Dragons is number seven, Jacob Jordan, and number 11, Brock Boyd. 9.15 on the clock here in the first quarter. Hey, that's a tremendous job out there. Is it? It's that voice. Look I at that. It it's is. that voice. It is. Yeah. All right, we're getting ready here. Grady is going to kick it. Man, that look almost like just straight up in the air. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. So that's going to go down as about a 20 yard punt where Haltom's going to take over. First and 10, or South Lake is going to take over. Sorry, first and 10 from the Haltom 45 yard line. South Lake's leading 7 0 right here with 8 minutes and 55 seconds to go in the first quarter. You're hey. listening to the Buffalo broadcast. Looked like he was trying. Want to sit at the cool kids' table? Then come see your favorite local comic store, Pastime Comics, located at 6120 Watauga Road across from Watauga Middle School. They have a full variety of Marvel, DC, and Image comics, as well as Funko Pops and more. Pastime Comics, where heroes come to play. To action, and number two, Angelo Renda back in the quarterback for the, the Dragons with the three receiver set. He's going to hand off to his running back who goes up the middle, picks up great yardage for about nine yards. Davis Penn. I think he picked up the first down. Davis Penn, Davis Penn yeah. Yep, they gave him the first down. And it was Adam Cross, the 35-yard line. That was quite enough to be 35. We're going to sit in the same formation right now. Pin in at running back. Renda's at quarterback. Three receivers set. Renda takes a snap. Hands off to Pin, who's up the middle again. Got a big, big hole. hole. Yeah. He's still going. He's, He's going to be brought, brought down, down about the number nine. That's uh, Xavier Boyd. He's going to be brought down about the 11-yard line of Holtham. 8.15 on the clock here in the first quarter. So good run, two good runs right now by the Dragons. Sets up first down for them. I do not like their score. There it is, first and 10 from the 11-yard line. A little handoff again to Penn, who's up the middle, untouched, untouched. touchdown. <laughs> so that was just three runs straight up the middle, Joe. Yep. And on two of them, he was almost untouched a little bit. He did get tackled on the first run, but he's picking up big yardage just straight up the middle. Not sure where the linebackers are going on that. It's just a three-receiver set. They're not doing anything fancy with motion, but our linebackers just kind of disappeared there. Who's great by playing tonight? I have no idea. Because uh, I think it's uh, 8.03 <laughs> left in the first quarter, and it's 14 nothing grapevine. Well, we have 14 nothing here at Southlake with 7.51 <laughs> to go here. Joe's got his binoculars looking literally uh, 1,000 feet away over here at Grapevine <laughs> Stadium that we can see. I mean, it's 14 uh, and Joe, you, I mean, Jack here in a minute could actually – we'll have him point the camera because he he's got to turn the camera. Yeah, here in a minute. You can see their Jumbotron. Yeah, we can see their Jumbotron really good. We'll go ahead and let Jack do that while we got a break. Yeah, hold on. Hey, how much time we got left in this game, Jack? Uh, it is uh, seven fifty-one. At a boy. left on the clock <laughs> here in the first quarter. Point that over for our. Can you not tell that we love each other? See, I've got this bad that, thing in the middle. It's kinda... that's the wrong diamond vision, though, Jack. That one straight, over there. straight across at Great Bond Stadium. Oh, it, well, yeah, I right can't. There. No, I can't get that. Can because but you can. But you can just point. Just things in the way. No, I can't. Oh, well, hold on. Yeah. I'm not talking about No, 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 no. Don't, do, don't mess that. with it. It's all right. We're good. Chris wants people to see how close we are. That is really close for two. That is football, really close for two football, football stadiums. stadiums. That's what I'm saying. It, it's oh, literally. Well, okay, okay. Can you get the water tower? Uh, no, I can't. Oh, okay. I was say, it's right next to the water tower. I can't. Nope. Can't it see. is exciting, though, because we can see their their replay board from here. We mm -hmm. can see what's going on in their game. I'm telling you, it's 14 to nothing. Over there? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can see the scoreboard. All down. right, so here's the kickoff. Going to go deep again into the end zone. Roberson is going to let no. it go over his head. Yep. That is almost out of the end uh -huh. zone. Where do you think this guy's going to kick? <sighs> <laughs> Community college, probably. Somewhere. His name is Lemmerman. Clark Lemmerman. Clark He's Lemmerman. That's or, no, excuse me, Kyle Lemmerman. 
Well, you need to put your readers on. No, 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 no. I, I, he's his brother, eighty-seven is Clark Limmerman. Okay. He's a sophomore kicker, and then eighty-three is Kyle Limmerman. He's a senior kicker. Well, they needed. They probably have a younger one in those four thousand kids. Here we go. There's going to be a handoff up the middle to Roberson, who gets a yard. <clears throat> I'm sorry, that was Ramirez Powell on the carry. Yeah, these numbers have us off. Yeah. Seven forty here in the uh, first quarter. <laughs> Jack Webb on the time time play. I wish I had a love little, it. I wish I had a little machine that could do that. Seven forty one left in the first quarter. Siri it's actually seven twenty eight left in the first quarter. We here. don't have a Siri. We have a Jack. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> coming out. Two receivers off to the right this time. Ramirez Powell, the lone running back. Ashton Moore is going to keep himself over the right side. Get a little bit of running room. Maybe pick up four. four. Yeah. Looks like it's going to bring up uh, third and manageable. Four. Third and yeah. four. Oh, sorry, Chris. Right. He's no Chris McDonald. No, he's not. <laughs> so the guy running the scoreboard here is a Haltem grad from 1974. All right. His name has slipped your mind already. Yeah, already. Two receivers off to the right. Uh, Moore's going to keep it himself. He's going to pick up the first down. Yep. Yeah, he's got yeah, the first got down. Enough. Yeah, they're going to mark him. Good run. Good hard run by Ashton. Well, I'm impressed with the offensive line on the left side that time because they opened up a nice hole. Chris, now the, you talk about a nice hole. Look at the D line for South Lake. They've got – the Halton Zoe line has got their hands full tonight. <laughs> So yeah, when you say they opened up a hole, you know they're 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 doing they're putting in work. No, they're bro. Doing, well, you know what? I mean, yeah. Richland had a huge defensive line, and so did Everman. Oh, Everman! Yeah, Everman was big. Yeah, yeah. I think there's a lot of burgers. So. <laughs> Not protein burgers, no. or whatever that barbecue place was we ate at. Longoria's. Not Longoria's good. not good. Then it wasn't. It wasn't no, this it was time. Not that good. Here we go. Uh -oh. No, nope, we have Time a timeout, out. Haltom. So with five minutes and 53 seconds to go here in the first quarter, Southlake up 14 to nothing. Haltom takes a timeout, and we will be right back. In the market for a new vehicle? Then come out and shop with Monty Kuhn and the fine folks with Moritz Chevrolet. Let Monty get you into that new car, truck, or SUV. Moritz Chevrolet is a proud sponsor of the BISD broadcast, located at 9101 Camp Bowie West in Fort Worth. You yes. know, we need a QR Six, code. I want a QR code. 14 nothing. They won't let me have a Look QR code yet. Look see you can see over there. Yeah, I can't see. I think Great Vaughn's on top. Because it's red. Far right of it. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm on it, but I can't. My eyes are horrible. I can't, I can't even focus on these to get them. <laughs> it's 628, uh, 14 nothing, but I think it's Great Vaughn. Oh, there we go. Hold on. We got 553 left here in the first quarter. Buffalo's trailing 14. Devin Ramirez pal in the backfield with Ashton. I can't tell. DQ Barnes in motion. Ashton's going to throw, throw it. out to Roberson. Breaks a tackle. Breaks two. He's going to get a first oh, down yeah. out of that. Yeah, that's a pick nice. Of 11. Yeah. A little swing pass out here to the right to Roberson. Great call by Haltom right there. Picks up about 11, 12 yards. Uh, I was impressed. Did you notice uh, both Southlake defenders were going for the ball, uh -huh. trying to strip it? From and that's good for a Moritz Chevrolet first down, and we're going to move the chains. Well, hey, what were you I want to be Chris? able to say that a couple of times I, tonight. I, I, I wouldn't say anything. Well, uh, you weren't saying anything? No, I wouldn't say All right, here we go. Back to action. Ah, uh, false start. False start. Yeah, why don't you put your hand down? They you almost didn't call out. it. Oh. <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> Did you see Prosper was in the news looking at building a $9.8 million football stadium? Wow. We can't Didn't, even get indoor. Isn't there fairly new? Yeah, they was just out yeah. there the other day. Prosper. You know what? We haven't, but there's some things that are in the works that maybe we can get some protection for the boys and the band and everybody else would be good. Coverage. Raincoats. Yeah. Ashton rolling to his right. He's throwing. Oh, not sure where was, uh, he was throwing that ball, actually. I think there was a mix-up between him and DQ. <laughs> you know, DQ never turned around. Mm -mm. It was like he was on a DQ fly. knows he's going yeah. back, pointing, yeah. uh, tapping his chest like yeah. that's my bad. Yeah. So, yeah, it, you're right. There was a mix-up there. But DQ was sprinting down the middle of the field. He, he got double-covered really quick. 
Good, good protection there by the O-line for Ashton rolling out. It's going to be second and 15. You know, when we were in the big playoffs, I uh, got to get credit to the, the South Lake folks. They they let us use their indoor facility yep. for yeah. practice when it was cold. So, very kind of them. Second 15 right now. Tight formation for the Buffaloes. Pitch to, Pitch Roberson. to Roberson. Picks up a Ooh. loss of one. He tried to run over the right side. But when you run that tight formation, everybody's South Lake's defense is fast. And they run into a tight formation and come up on the corners and – they read that perfectly. Mm -hmm. Boy, I'm not getting any. You would think with all the money that they spent on the stadium that we could get Wi-Fi signal good in here. Oh, I know. Mine's. They, they don't have a Wi-Fi? No, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to pull up some stuff. It's, uh, no, that's not Grapevine playing in that. Grapevine won 48 nothing last night. Then that's that's that? Heritage. Collierville Heritage. Yeah, I hadn't found their. All right, here we go. Third down. Oh, look at that. Ramirez Power on the right side. He's at the 40. He's breaking at away. 30. He's at the 20. He's at the Oh, he's still going. Stayed Touchdown, in Buffaloes. Him in bounds. Yes. Touchdown. Dang. How Hall. about those Buffaloes? Ramirez Good Powell. Good run by Devin. Just a little third and long there for the Buffaloes. Ramirez Power on the right side. Great blocks by both receivers that were lined up over there, which was Barnes and Jallo that sprung him. And he went around the outside and went 52 yards for the score. Mm -hmm. Puts Haltom on the board with 4.52 to go here in the first quarter. Vitalis on for the extra point. Kick is up and good. Four minutes and 52 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Haltham strikes on a long touchdown run from Devin Ramirez Powell. Southlake leads 14 to 7. How's it, Coach Ward? Coach Ward's on. Is he? Yeah. He should be calling a game tonight, actually. So, scores last night Eaton, District of Foe, uh, defeated uh, Keller Fossil Ridge 38 to 20. See what else we got going on here. Uh, who'd you say Byron Nelson played last night? Byron, no, Byron Nelson's playing right now. They're up. They're up 14 to nothing over Timber Creek. That is Trimble Tech and Colleyville Heritage playing okay, across the over that, across the pond over there. That's yeah. Colleyville Heritage. It's up 14 to nothing. Okay, they don't have a score yet. Keller Indians are up three to nothing over Central Chargers. Huh. Who we beat last week? We did 32 we to 22. Did. That was that was Ooh, it was nice. Jack. Want to sit at the cool kids table? Then come see your favorite local comic store, Pastime Comics, located at 6120 Watauga Road across from Watauga Middle School. They have a full variety of Marvel, DC, and Image comics, as well as Funko Pops and more. Pastime Comics, where heroes come to play. Chris, I really wish I knew what, how much time was left in this quarter. You know, there is only four minutes and 52 seconds left in the first quarter here at Dragon Stadium as Halton just scores a touchdown, bringing it 7-14. to 14. How's that? That was great. Was it over great. the top? Too much? Too much? All right. Too well, much? I'm going to tell you I'm what. Coach Tucker is livid <laughs> and marched out and is moving Jallo off the field with him as we speak. Tucker had to call a timeout. And he was not happy. And this is our second mishap on a kickoff. Yes, it is. He is not happy with something down there because he is in the middle of the kickoff. Team Jallo is moving to the sideline. And I want to tell you something, Chris. You definitely you don't want to make mistakes at any time, but you definitely don't want to make them against Southlake. No, no. This no. team is one. Uh, I remember <laughs> when uh, Cole and Braden were telling us that when they played them back in 2016. Oh, yeah. Uh, 2015, Jack. How they said uh, <clears throat> just how fundamentally sound they were. Oh, right. Yeah. Like they just didn't make mistakes. Right. They were always they, – they executed their plays very well. And we're like getting another player on the field. <laughs> <laughs> Keenan Jackson comes on in place of Jallo. <laughs> All right. Well, let's kick this off. Well, we got eight seconds to go here. All right. There we go. There, Vitellis kick is a good kick. It's going to hit at the 10. Uh, Jackson's going to pick it up. He's going to try to run over the right side. Oh, oh Vitellis makes the kick hit. 
At the, yeah. at the, he hit him at the seven, eight yard line, and they give him the ten. Yeah. How does Vitolas, the kicker, is the first one down to make the kick? Good for him. To make the t- that special teams player of the week mm-hmm. right there. Right. Now he's got to run fifty-two oh. yards back the other way to get, get his the tee. tee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if anybody wants to be a tee runner, I I need I, you, I need <laughs> a, I need a half and a half from Chick Fil A. South Lake's going to take over first and 10 at their own 10 yard line. Uber Eats. Not DoorDash out. Four receivers set for the Dragons. No running back. Angela Renda. Renda. Yeah, he's taking. Looking he's looking. He's going to throw over here to the right side. He hits number 11, who takes a knee or goes Brock down. Brock Boyd, yeah. yeah. He's going to bring up, what, nine yards? Yeah, nine yard back. See, that's our corners are playing a little too deep right there. That's Bird on the coverage. I had a feeling South Lake like was going to try to air it up tonight. Well, again, but the, the like, different quarterback tonight yeah, than what yeah, we thought. Yeah, yeah. Graham Knowles not so, suited out, so I'm assuming he's hurt. So yeah. a lot of spinning going on right now. A little, little trickery. A little oh, trickery. Oh, that's false, false start, start for false start for South Lake. They they were trying to run a little trickery. Everybody was spinning, actually doing spins to move into formation. Four minutes and nine seconds left on the could, clock here in the Kansas City first thing. quarter. Oh, yeah. The Huddle maybe, up and yeah. – Was that what it was? Oh. No, that's not what this was. But I said You're talking about the one next. with Mahomes when he did the – whatever that was. They were huddled that, up like yeah. this. And that the, didn't work very they, good for them. Remember? Yeah. It yeah. didn't. No. It didn't. No. So now South Lake's going to go to a uh, four-receiver formation here. <laughs> no running back in the backfield. Renda's probably going to throw. He's got a good arm. Yeah. Three receivers off to the left. Five receiver formation now. Renda's looking off to the left. He throws. Got a man. It's going to be a first down. It's uh, it's it's taken down by go. Acevedo. Yeah, Acevedo on the tackle. Oh no, that was number fourteen. I'm sorry. That was twenty-three. Clayton Whalen on the re- reception. <clears throat> I'm telling you, Chris. I watched some some film on this Renda. Uh, when he gets to running, ooh. Well, he's only a sophomore. He's quick, bro. Three receiver set. Still no running back. Uh, man in motion. That's false start on the right tackle. They didn't get it. Oh, look at the hold. And how is that? There it, there is. it is. It's coming back. Whatever happens. That was yeah. another little sweet pitch. Yeah, a little. Su- Got a little mustard on the hot on the dog. Lust. Hot dog. Hot dog. That's grass out there. What? Well, there's mustard on the hot dog. Good trick. You stopped with the queso. No more, oh, no more queso. it was a hold. Yeah, we're gonna back that up. Little, That's a hold on South Lake. Little queso on the lettuce. Little queso on the jalapeno. <laughs> That's better. That's what it was. It was it's queso. been a while. <laughs> it was queso on the jalapeno. <laughs> it's gonna bring up steak. first, first and twenty from their own eleven yard line right now for South Lake. Three sixteen to go here in the first quarter. It's been a long first quarter. Fourteen seven South Lake leads. You hear me, Jack? On what? a stick. Jalapeno on a stick. Four receiver set. We do have a running back now. Guards us in at running back. Or is that Penn? That's our Penn. That's Penn. False start by Penn, but they didn't get it. Boyd with the reception. Boy, they're just they're just leaving him too much room. Yeah. He stood there. They were playing that soft zone in the back right now. Uh, uh-huh. They don't want to get anything they behind them, but, but they're playing everything in front of them. But they're playing way off the receivers. So Boyd yeah. just ran out, ran like a 15 yard hitch there, and just stood there. So it's going to bring up second and five. Well, another little pass out here to Boyd. Boyd, who goes out of bounds. He's going to pick up the first down. Uh, yeah. Then, yeah, they give it to him. I think he got right at five yards, so they're moving the chains on that one. It's going to bring up first down for South Lake. He holds that ball just a little bit long. I mean, he is a sophomore. He's got a lot of, a lot of learning, a lot of reps coming. He looks good. Yeah, he's really. I think he's really mature for a sophomore. Three yes, receivers sir. set right now for South Lake. Penn in the backfield. Renda takes a snap. He's going to hand it to Penn, who's going up the middle. Got a big hole, and he's going to split the defense and be brought down about the 36-yard line, 38-yard line of Halton. By Lucas Black, number 25. 25, about a 28-yard run right there. They are just uh, they're opening up that hole yeah, right there are. in the middle. <clears throat> well, I think they South Lake has some good play call. You know, they're they're hitting these little 
little passes to the yeah. outside, and then, man, there they come up the middle. 2.05 left here in the first quarter. Renda, pin, jumps again. Renda oh, with the little deep. fake. He's got a uh, boy. boy touchdown. Mm -hmm. like. Boyd almost dropped that. You see that? Yeah, but who was that? Lucas Bryant back there on the defense. Yeah. On the, he just got he got faked by. Uh, I think he bit on the pump. Yeah, he bit on the pump fake, and it froze him. And Boyd just ran right by him. South Lake. What was that? A thirty-eight yard. Thirty-eight yard. Forty-two. Forty-two yard. I think that's where they had him. Well, they change it quick on the board. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Who is this on for their kicker? Lennerman. Lennerman. Kick the, is up, and he kicks it to Keller. Okay. The older Lennerman. The older, out of the brothers. Brothers Lennerman. Minute 49 to go here in the first quarter. Southlake extends their lead to 21-7 to over Halton. You shouldn't need an advanced degree to figure out how to pay for one. Hi, I'm Jack Webb and Edward Jones Financial Advisor. I want to help you understand all the options you have when paying for an education. Our phone number is 817-460-5311. Edward Jones, member SIPC. So a uh, little score update here. Uh, two minutes and four seconds left to go in the first half, and Collierville Heritage is up 28 to nothing on Pascal. It's Trimble Tech. Or Trimble Tech. There you go, whoever that is. 28 nothing in the first quarter over uh -huh. there. Huh? 203 left in the first quarter. They play some good music. Yeah, they have. So Roberson and Jallo deep to receive for the Buffaloes. Jack's got that crowd mic turned up just Lumberman with a kick. Oh, that's coming down to – no, nope. it's going back in the end zone. So, Haltham's going to get it first and 10 from their own 25-yard line. What did you guys think about Jack's new Edward Jones ad? He worked for three weeks on that. <laughs> take after take. He, he no, rented, out a, I, rented I, out a sound booth and no, everything. I, I, I can't take credit for that. That is uh, Edward Jones marketing material, and I uh, thank them for that. So, nope. Well, just my voice. That's it. That voice you have is just so <laughs> soothing. It's Jack. angelic. Yeah. It's like between Is Fergie right? and what was that from Step Brothers? <laughs> from, from Step it's Brothers? a Beyonce. And, yeah, all right. So here we go. Ashton Moore in at quarterback. He's going to keep it himself. He's going to pitch out here, oh, oh, which is fumble. a fumble. It looked like the Bo Buffaloes got back on it. I'm, I'm not, not sure, sure. I think they did. what is going on. Yeah, what was up with it? Yeah, so. Haltham's got yeah. it back, but that was just ugly. Literally, I'll be honest, ugly. DQ Matt. Barnes on the recovery. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Moore know. waited and waited. He held the ball out like they knew he was yeah. going to pitch. And then at the last minute, he pitched it over to Ramirez Powell, who had a defender right in his face. And he was hit immediately and never got his hands on the ball. So it was a fumble. Uh, it was a loss great. of two. Yeah. So let's get this back. Two receiver set for the Buffaloes. Ashton looking to throw. Looking. Throws it over the middle. Oh. Incomplete. He had Roberson. It was just a little low. Yeah. He had Roberson over the middle. Yeah, he took a, he yeah, took he a hit on that pressure. one, too, coming. A minute 13 left here in the first quarter. It's going to bring up third down for the Buffaloes. Third and 12. Hey, we did get some more fans. Crowd. Got about 96. Yeah. That's our fan count for the night over yeah. there? Oh, oh no, we're talking about the stands. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> we're at 42 over in the stands. Yeah. Jack's like, I don't know anything don't other know. than this PC. Yeah. Uh, three, three receivers set off to the right this time. Moore's going to roll out to the right. Got some blocking. He's got room. He's looking, looking, throws it. Jallo catches it, but he's about two yards shy, yeah, short. three yards shy. Nice nice play out there by Moore, though, getting out of the pressure and mm -hmm. finding Jallo. It's going to bring up fourth down, but it's, you know, gets them out of there. Uh, they had a third and 12. They're looking at a fourth and three right now. Grady Tucker's going to come in. Halton's going to have to punt this. 49 seconds left here in the quarter. That, uh, that fumble hurt him a little bit. Yeah, it did. did. Yeah, because we are moving the ball pretty yeah. well. You know, mm -hmm. we really are. Fake it. Tucker with the kick. Good little kick. 
It's going to be brought down Boyd. by Boyd at his own 30-yard line. He's got blockers. Jallo with the tackle. He's going to be brought down about the 46. So about a 16-yard return where Southlake's going to take over first and 10, leading Holtham 21-7. We've got 17 seconds left here in the first quarter. we got Kona Ice down there. You see that over oh, there on the visitor side? Yeah, they got Kona Ice. We've got a food truck over here. they got merchandise stuff. You want to run down there and get us one? No, that's a long walk. Rinda is still in at quarterback with Penn at receiver. Three receivers set, two off to the left for Southlake. He's got Van Dorseler in motion. His tight end, false start. Wow. That's the second. Yeah, the penalty. Dragons have made a few mistakes tonight. Yep. Oh, those are good. They are pretty the good. The nerds. Yeah. Too much sugar for me. Nerds. All right. Three receivers. I can't even talk with the nerds in my Number 18, Christian Glenn checking in at running back. Rinda looking to throw. Hits number 88 over on the left-hand side who good. breaks a tackle. Two. Yeah, that was a good tackle out there on yeah. the right by uh, who came up right there. Uh, Lucas Bryant on that tackle. He came over from his safety spot. Okay. That's going to do it for the first quarter. So an exciting first quarter here in South Lake as the Dragons lead your Buffaloes 21 to 7. Those are good. They really are good. Look, when you point at him, he doesn't do anything. No, no he points at us. He cuts us I, off. I got way too much going on here. Sorry. <laughs> well, have y'all watched Love After Lockup yet on Weed TV? Mm -mm. That's what we call that. Trash TV Friday night. <laughs> Lord. In the market for a new vehicle? Then come out and shop with Monty Coon and the fine folks with Marit Chevrolet. Let Monty get you into that new car, truck, or SUV. Marit Chevrolet is a proud sponsor of the BISD broadcast located at 9101 Camp Bowie West in Fort Worth. You were saying, Joe? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all. <laughs> Once again, the views and opinions of this broadcast team are not those of the BISD school district or its affiliates or the Halton High School or its coaches or any teacher thereof. It could be that of, <clears throat> of a couple of parents. Could be. Really good. <clears throat> yeah, we're good with that. We're back to action here. Rindo's getting ready to take the snap for Southlake. Takes the snap. It's going to be another Pro false start go. on Southlake. Fifty-two is going to be Harrison Moore. You know, I wonder, Chris, because <clears throat> Southlake usually isn't like this. This is a lot more penalties I've seen them have with false starts. I wonder if it's the cadence from the quarterback. It could be something different. You know, little handoff to a new running again up the That's middle. We're, we're not, yeah, we're not picking something up up the middle. That's a huge hole up the middle for. <clears throat> He's going to be just shy of the first. <coughs> thing. Christian Glenn, yeah, quite a bit. It's going to bring up third down. 11.42 on the clock here in the <laughs> second quarter. Third and four for the Dragons. So our linebackers just aren't picking that up. Halton line shift. Rinda is going to hand off again. To Gwen. Picks up the yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot better play on the defensive line by Halton that time. It looked like he was going to be hit for about a gain of one, uh, but he got out of it and picked up three yards coming up first down for Southlake. Penn's coming back in. Is that Penn? No, sorry. No, no running back. Busman's in. Two receivers on the right, two on the left this time for the Dragons. Rend in and still in at quarterback. Did you say five, five receiver sets? No, left four, or right? two and two. Oh, okay. My, my bad. I was just asking. Just asking. Getting some clarification. I know my counts. <laughs> Renda's dropped back to throw. Looking back. No pressure. It's going to be. It's number 14 in stride. Man. That was a good throw. That's Clayton Whalen on the reception. That was a good throw by Renda, but he just put it right over two Haltham defenders. Yeah. Just right down the sideline. All right. 
honestly, Halton was in good defense there. Well, you had your safety, you had the deep cover on that one, which he did. Rinda looking to the sideline for the play. Same formation, yep. empty backfield. Yep, four, four receivers set. <coughs> South Lake slowing it down. Eight seconds left on the play clock. Rinda's dropping back there, looking to the left. He's going to throw it deep over the middle. You know, Ooh, that was uh, that was offensive uh, interference, if you ask me. Lucas Bryan had good coverage on yeah. that. If he just looked around a little sooner, it, it's easy picked. It's yeah. easy to say that from up here. We're not down there in live yeah, action. True. So <laughs> that was very good coverage by Lucas Bryan on that. Uh, the ball's incomplete. Renda tried to hit his receiver in the end zone. But, again, good defense right there by Bryan. Yeah, Renda threw up a floater. 10-32. Glenn checking back in at the running back. He's going to hand it off. Uh, oh, this he time stopped. he tried to go up the middle, and yeah. he got a yard. They're giving him two yards on that. So good defense by the Buffaloes. I didn't even think he got two. Yeah, they gave it to him. It's going to bring up third and eight. Third and eight. We're going to have a lone running back. This is Glenn. Four receivers out there for the Dragons. That's a false That's start. That's a false start by the receiver if they didn't get it deep in the end zone. Oh, he's Touchdown. in. Oh, incomplete. Oh, wow. They called him out of bounds. Yeah, I, I really want to watch this. I think he drug his feet, guys. Can you see it over there? Yeah. I'll just look at it on the TV right here, Joe. If they show a little replay, yeah, right. look at it. Joe. Right here, bud. Joe, I'm looking at the reflection right here. Joe, there's, oh, okay. <laughs> it's going to bring up fourth down right now. Uh, they're bringing out the kicker. Yeah, they're not going to replay that. There's no challenges in high school. So. No, but that was – Yeah, uh, that was a good ball by Renda, mm -hmm. but good coverage again. Haltham had a, a man right on that. So, 83, Lemmerman. Kyle, the older. Who boots that to Argyle. Yep. Oh, almost on the roof. You know what he reminds me of is Villa Vicencio. Oh, yeah. Because remember when he would kick a field goal and he'd just keep going? He's a little <laughs> thicker. Than, than, I, I'm just talking yeah. about the, the strength the of leg. the leg. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, the strength of the leg. I mean, this tells you they they have a guy sitting up there filming and to oh. get the footballs <laughs> that go up on the roof. 9.45 to go here until half. Uh, South Lake is up 24-7 to over Halton. So uh, that's actually a good defensive stop to hold yeah. them to a field goal. I think goal so, yeah. After the couple of deep passes that South Lake had. 100%. I agree. Life happens. You can't predict the unexpected, but you can prepare. Hi, I'm Jack Webb, an Edward Jones Financial Advisor. I can help you with your financial goals and planning with life's ups and downs in mind. Our phone number is 817-460-5311. Edward Jones, member SIPC. Hey, what's up, Chad Pittman? You know, Jack plays that. I've had my... Retirement account with Jack for 15 years. It's grown three dollars. Uh, well, hey, <laughs> when you when you start with 50 cents, what, what can I say? That, you know? that is true. <laughs> I'm getting a return on my investment. <laughs> oh, that's funny. South Lake with their 24 cheerleaders. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. if you guys remember back in the 90s, they threw a fit or early 2000s. There's a deep kick. This one will not go in the end zone. This is going to be returnable. Safe. Oh, Roberson at the goal line. He brings it back out to the Good 19. return, 19-yard 19 yeah. line. He drugs some, about three players, about three or four yards. I like to see that, that grit, man. You know what I watched last night? And they good mark move. him at the 18. See, I, man. Wow. What would you watch last night, buddy? Last Samurai. I hadn't seen that in years. I, it's been a long time yeah. since you I've mean seen that. Since you were like a kid when you saw the real Last Samurai? Or you... What are you talking about? Your, it's an age joke. Is inappropriate. Nation <laughs> 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 under center. Hands off to Devin Ramirez Powell up the middle for a gain of two. Hard run by Devin. I appreciate you taking over there because I started choking on one of those nerds. <laughs> <laughs> I I, I kind of got that. That's why I did. <laughs> 
you're trying to eat them quick in between plays. I was. And stuff. I know. Well, so. I'll tell you what. The one good thing that's making them even better is just like all the chocolate. They, I guess they set out in the heat so they melted just so, so the they're soft. The rainbow color. Do what? It's the rainbow color. Well, they're soft. Like Skittles. All right. Type formation. Well, single receiver out to the right. Moore's going hand to off hand to off Wilkerson. to him. Roberson Roberson bounces around oh, he bounces around, around the left side. He's got he's running got, room. He's at the 40. He's oh, still he going. Uh, stay on your feet. Oh. Oh. He's going to bring it down to about the nice run. 48-yard line of uh, South Lake. Mm -hmm. So, again, that's been uh, very successful for Haltom tonight. Again, on if he stays up, he's gone. He's gone. Man. If he stays up, he well, got yeah. tripped up. I he's mean, gone. I was going to say, how many times do you get – Wow. He gets that stay, yeah. a, stay afloat. I mean, he was incredible. Well, yeah. again, great by the, the left tackle over there uh, on the block that that cut that edge off and let Roberson get around the right side or the left side, get around oh. the outside. and Roberson tried to hit the hole, bounced outside. So, I mean, that, that was a good read. That was a good Two effort. running back set this time. Moore Gonna hits Jallo. Uh, he's going to pick up about four. Five, four or five, four, yeah. Five. Let's see. About five. Nice throw out there by Moore to Jallo over to the left side. It's going to bring up second down for the Buffaloes. 8.33 left on the clock here in the second quarter. Second down. So second and five from the 43-yard line of South Lake. We'll hand off to Ramirez Powell over the right side. He's not going anywhere. He gets back to the line of scrimmage. Oh, he actually is going to lose a yard. Haven't had much running room on that right side. It is third down. Jake Lucky on the tackle. Sophomore. 94 is a sophomore. They're, they're a pretty right young in the team, middle. man. 90 is a junior. Oh, my gosh. Oh, good pass. Oh, good pass. Good catch. Oh, did Ro oh, no, he, he dropped, dropped it. it. He dropped it. He oh, had it. Oh, man. That was, that was the first down. Uh, I thought Roberson All had that, bro. Yeah. yeah, I did too. That was a great. That was a great call by the uh, by the coaches on a slant pass to Roberson over the middle. Roberson caught it, got hit, and he dropped it. And he had the first. Uh, it's going to bring up fourth and six. Haltom's going to go for it here from the Dragon forty-four yard line. They are trailing twenty-four to seven here in the second quarter. They have ten seconds. They need to move and get this play yes. off. Eight seconds. So they're in no hurry. Ashton looking, oh, oh my man. goodness. Wow. Ashton's got to see that. He had a rush, two rushers coming from the left uh -huh. side. He can't throw that right into him. No. He's he's going to have to pull that. If he would have pulled that and went up and just taken it up the middle, he had a shot at the first down because the, the C had parted up the middle for him. But he tried to get rid of the ball real quick, and it's going to be incomplete. Southlake's going to take over right now on their own 44-yard line. So a promising drive for Halton. It that really ended. was. I'm telling you, we're moving the ball up the field pretty well. You know, a lot better than I thought we were going to do tonight. Oh. Rinda in at quarterback. Two receivers set off to the left this time for South Lake. He's going to pitch off to Penn, off to the right it. side, who's got a lot of running room. He's going to break gone. it. He's taking it to the house for yeah. South Lake. Just a little pitch to the right side. Haltham didn't have anybody there. They got blocked down, and South Lake's going to score. Penn, with his yeah. third touchdown rushing of the night, extends the South Lake lead to 30-7 to right now. And we've got seven minutes and 29 seconds left on the board. Here in the first half. Limmerman is on for the extra point. And Limmerman is holding. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the uh, Limmerman combo. Senior, sophomore. Sound like we called that last year, too. Kick is up and on the roof. And uh, still bouncing on the roof. Oh, okay. I thought it was about to uh, bounce off the back there's side. There's two it. footballs up there. There's three footballs up there. Four footballs practice. up there. There he goes. He's going to get it. Well, he's got one on the left of the one that just bounced. I if I can get this guy. There's that one. The okay, front. now he's getting another one. Yep, now you got to get the other one. 
There you go. <laughs> Do you have a QR code? Are you a QR code guy, kind of guy? I Chris? am. I was thinking about putting one on a shirt just so people could scan me. <laughs> <laughs> just so I can feel important. All oh, right. Yeah, that's great. I love it. <laughs> Speaking of your your store. Want to sit at the cool kids table? Then come see your favorite local comic store, Pastime Comics, located at 6120 Watauga Road across from Watauga Middle School. They have a full variety of Marvel, DC, and Image comics, as well as Funko Pops and more. Pastime Comics, where heroes come to play. Yeah, they do play some good music here. They do, yeah. They, but they keep playing this same song. Right. I hope we don't get kicked off uh, Facebook. Uh, we will in about a year. <laughs> so <laughs> all South sides. Lake, South Lake. Oh Tri- my gosh, he got drilled. But number forty-four, fourteen. Uh, Grady Tucker no, came down with it. Was it? I yeah, it was forty-four. Oh, it no, was. Tucker's got oh, it. it. So <laughs> South Lake, even after scoring being up thirty-one to seven, tries the classy onside kick. Yeah. And they drilled. Yeah. Tucker, you're up thirty-one to seven, and you onside kick it. Well, you got to, I mean, I'm not defending it, but maybe you're trying to get special teams practice plays in or something here. I don't you're, know. You're getting ready Ooh. for, I, I don't know. I don't know. I it mean, makes you wonder sometimes. He's not a, I, I don't think he's a malicious coach at all. I think he's a great coach, but yeah. I'm, all right, Halton's coming you. out on offense right now. Moore's still in at quarterback, two receiver set. Moore's going to keep it himself up the middle. Picks up four. four. Yeah. Good hard run by Aston. Seven eighteen to go here okay. until halftime. It is thirty-one to seven. South Lake over Halton. Chris Hayes is watching. Hey, I am. Chris, I, hey, I, how are you? I, I jumped in, <laughs> boosting our numbers. I boosting our numbers. <laughs> I am. Well, we got like eighty people watching. The well, team. they're not in the stands. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. Moore. So, wait, that's not Moore, that quarterback. No, that's uh, that's 24. Yeah. Oh, good run. That's Andre, be... Andre Rich. See if they give him forward picks. progress on yeah, this. Yeah, they did. He's a yard shot. It's going to bring up third and one. So, a little wildcat that. play. I told you last week uh, we did that a couple of times with Rich. Correct. So, yeah, yeah. Moore's coming back in. It's going to be third and one. You, th- you think Moore is just going to keep it here? I would have said I mean, third and one. Why not? How about pass the ball? Is that your battery going dead on? No, it just said my iCloud settings are out, yeah. out of order. Empty you... backfield. So oh, he's going to hand off to Ramirez. Oh, yeah, see, that'd have been a great jet yeah. sweep right there. Thirty receivers off to the left right now. Moore takes it himself. He's going to run up the middle. He gets it, as called by Coach Hayes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he gets the first down. It's good. Cole called in and told us that? No, that's oh, why I'm paying oh, the big oh, bucks oh, for this. Oh, okay. I am paying the big bucks. <laughs> and that's good for a Maritz Chevrolet first down. And we're going to move, move the, chains. the chains. 5.45 to go here until halftime. 31-7 South Lake. Haltom is driving right now. They have it first and 10 from the Dragon 44-yard line. I'm really digging the new uniforms. I really, like, I really yeah, like the black I like pants. The, cool. I like the shells. Too, it looks like the old Bubba Buff. You guys remember Bubba Buff, the uh-huh. helmet guy? Yeah, but yeah. he's cursed. So oh, Ramirez, to Ramirez Powell, Powell tries to get around the outside and does not. Takes a loss of one, it looks like. Yeah. It's really easy to sit up here and say he paused. But, you he know, did pause. Don't know. <laughs> well, he did. But, <laughs> but, but, well, he but had questioned a, the pause, right? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, We don't know what he saw. Uh, about two safeties coming Is down. Is that what he saw? Him. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, two safeties were right there when he tried to cut up field, so he tried to stop Juke. The Juke didn't work, but he didn't have anywhere to go right there. I like the play call, though. You just pick up the first down, and that was like, that was the play where they busted it for the long touchdown yeah. run earlier, so they uh-huh. came back with that. 441 uh, left here in the half. Roberson and Jallo are your two receivers off to the right. Moore's running to his left, looking to throw. He's going to throw it over the middle. He's trying to hit Tucker. He threw it too high. Moore was under pressure immediately. Yeah, a lot of pressure. Yeah. Uh, 
That defensive end over there, number 44 for South Lake, is Dustin Mark. Uh, he like the he six, six twelve, six eleven. He looked like linebacker. he came in untouched. <laughs> he really did. He did. Ooh. So he looked like he just kind of stunned it yeah. around the outside, and and nobody. You know what that reminded me of was that Micah Parsons play on the other. Oh yeah. You know, we didn't see him coming out of anywhere, and he sacked Zach Wilson. I thought you were going to talk about you in middle school. We haven't had a mic drop tonight. We need one of those, don't we? About me in middle school? Mm -hmm. Ramirez Powell's going to run, but he that's, that's a third. Oh, there's the helmet off. I think it's Devin's. That's third and 11, and there we're running up the middle. Yeah, that's yeah. the way you played in middle school. That's all I was going to say. This is Chris Hayes, Richland Junior High Class of 1985. Go Rams. And you are listening to the Halton Buffalo Broadcast with Jack, Julian, Cole, and Joe. Go Buffs. Go Buffs. There we go. Yeah, I don't know why Jack always has it. I'm going to fix but it. it. But he circled me, too. You notice that? He's yeah, it's kind of cool. That's his John Madden Telestrator that he uses. <laughs> I don't know how I did that, to be honest with you. I don't know if I could do it again. So, so we got a timeout here with 427 to go. Haltom's facing a fourth and 11 from the 45-yard line of Southlake. Hi, this is Jack, Jack Webb, Webb, right tackle, right tackle for the Plato, for the Plato Elementary, Elementary Pirates. And you're listening, and you're to, listening the to the Buffalo Broadcast with me, with me Chris, 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 Julian, Julian Joe, Joe, and Cole. Go, go Buffs! You, you guys can't see the picture. I can. I got it on my phone. <laughs> I'm telling you, I want you to wear that helmet up here. I don't know where it is. I, I, I would love to find that helmet. I don't think I, I don't think I get Tucker's going to come out. It looks like Halton's going to punt this away. Tucker, Grady Tucker's on to punt. Uh, who is back deep, Joe? Seven. seven. Jacob Jordan is back deep from South Lake. Low snap. Tucker gets it away. Good kick from Tucker. Jordan's going to field it. Uh, oh, he's he's breaking around the out soon. Jallo's going to have to bring him down. And he does. Takes him out That's of bounds at the 50. Good pursuit by Jallo on that. Give you a little quick update on the uh, College World Heritage Trimble Tech game. It's um, 207 left in the uh, second quarter, 45 to either zero or seven. So that ball's coming back because they had a block in the back against South Lake, so it's half the distance to the goal. So that good return by South Lake is negated by the penalty. That is their fourth penalty of the game. That's a good word, Chris. We are like winning that. the penalty battle right now. I will say that because we've yeah. had one. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, this is Marty Coon, Halton class of 1988. You're listening to the Halton Buffaloes on the Halton Buffaloes broadcast. Jack, William, and Joe. Let's go, Bob. <laughs> yeah, I will have to say our special teams has done well tonight, you know? You notice how Jack keeps turning the crowd mic up and turning us off? Yeah. No. Yeah. That, no. No, you do. When you keep turning that crowd mic, it drowns us out. Oh, it does? Well, that's okay. Hold on. <laughs> Turn it down a little, Jack. Just a little, a little more. This one right here. All right, here we go. First and ten for South Lake from their own seven-yard line. Four receivers set. Three receivers set for the Dragons. Going to hand off Christian. Christian, who stays on his feet. Acevedo Christian almost with the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. He picks up five, six. We're, we're at an angle. So uh, they give him six yards on that. They're going to have it second and four from their own 13-yard line right now. 352 left here in the half. Three receiver set. Renda's back to throw. He's got a man wide open. Number seven. Stop. He fumbled it. He fumbled it. Jordan. What? what? They're saying he's I, out of bounds? Yeah, he yeah. was out of bounds. Well, they're saying the ball went out of bounds. Yeah, Jordan fumbled the ball. We had three Buffaloes right there. And just what the announcer said, He's first great. down Dragons. Jaden mm -hmm. Davis is a big boy. Four receivers set. They're, both, they're all stacked. It's going to be a handoff up the middle to Pent. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no, that's all right. Well, that's a win. Who's going to take it in from... 76 oh, yards. Oh, that's 10. Pin that's 10. Pin. Pin that's yeah. his fourth touchdown run of the night. Good 
guarantee you that boy's got to have at least over 150 yards. Uh, easily. Yeah. I mean, that's his second 70. Well, no, that's his second 70 yarder, 70 plus yarder, and then he's had a 50 plus yarder, yep. and then probably a 20 plus yarder. So he could he's pushing 200 on this right now in the first half. Yeah. 325 to go. Southlake extends their lead 37 to 7 right now with the ensuing extra point. He was untouched. And, and think about this, <clears throat> Chris. That combo of Renda and Penn, they're both sophomores. Are, are they really? Yes. I didn't even see that. Yes. Wow. So. Mm -hmm. The number 11, Boyd, Brock Boyd, the receiver, he's a sophomore. Yeah. 325 to go here until halftime, 38-7 Southlake. Jallo and Roberson coming back to line up deep. In the market for a new vehicle? Then come out and shop with Monty Kuhn and the fine folks with Moritz Chevrolet. Let Monty get you into that new car, truck, or SUV. Moritz Chevrolet is a proud sponsor, proud of, the sponsor BISD of the BISD broadcast. broadcast. Located at 9101 90 Camp, Camp Bowie West in Fort Worth. How much do you think Berkey's paid for sponsorship out here? Because they have stuff everywhere. It's flashing on the big screen. they got a van. Uh, yeah, sure wasn't cheap. Look at the student section down here. They're all here. The kick is deep. It's going to be brought down by Roberson at his own one. He's going to bring it out at the 10. Tripped up. He's at the 15, the 20. Good return to the 21-yard line, it looks like, by Roberson. Where Halton will take over. First and 10. 319 to go here until halftime. Halton does get the ball to start the second half. Jallo is going to line up over there on the left side. Moore hands off to Ramirez Powell. He's up the middle. He gets nothing over the left one. side. No, he didn't get any kind of blocking over on that left side that time. Yeah. Yeah. South like had one man over there, Austin Davidge, the junior defensive lineman. So we'll bring up second and nine for your Buffaloes. You gonna watch F1 qualifying tonight, Joe? It's at 1 a.m. No. They're, they're racing in Japan. <laughs> I'll be dead asleep. Nah, I'll be up. Picks up one for Ramirez Powell. Second and nine here for the Buffaloes. Moore's looking to throw. He does a little pump fake. He's under pressure. He gets out of it. Throw it away. It's away, yeah. There you go. Hey, that's a good play by yeah. Moore. Good play by Moore. Throws it away before he took the sack. He tried that little pump fake to hit Roberson, it looked like down the mm -hmm. down the sideline deep. Yeah. Well, 2.40 left here in the half. Do you think they bring ice cream or anything up here? Too? I don't know. Uh -oh. no. But we did get sandwiches. I'm just I saying. No, we, we got sandwiches. We good. haven't had that at, uh, at our No, the our chopped stadium. beef was really good here. Yeah, we got candy, bro. We got candy. We got chips. We got sandwiches. Sodas, water. What's Jules eating? He's not here tonight. No, he's not here Keep tonight. him in our prayers. We know he's got some stuff going on. Moore's going to keep it himself. He just Ooh, runs into yeah. a green wall. Let's put it that way. He tried to go over the left side. He is taken down, and Southlake calls a timeout because they want to stop the clock and get the ball back because, well, that's Southlake, and they want to try to score again real quick. Oh, gosh. Want to sit at the Cool Kids table? Then come see your favorite local comic store, Pastime Comics, located at 6120 Watauga Road, across from Watauga Middle School. They have a full variety of Marvel, DC, and Image comics, as well as Funko Pops and more. Pastime Comics, where heroes come to play. 
In the market for a new vehicle? Then come out and shop with Monty Kuhn and the fine folks with Moritz Chevrolet. Let Monty get you into that new car, truck, or SUV. Moritz Chevrolet is a proud sponsor of the BISD broadcast, located at 9101 Camp Bowie West in Fort Worth. This makes me want to put on a flight suit and go oh run man. around the concourse. No kidding. Okay, good. Okay, who wanted a, a Kawasaki during that movie? I mean, seriously. After that movie, who wanted the... You I know. just wanted the volleyball. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted the aviator sunglasses. I really. So we have fourth down. Grady Tucker's back to punt. Oh, we had a false start. We did yeah. have a false start. I didn't think he was going to call it. Start there. They tried to let it go, and yeah. all the South Lake players started pointing at it. <clears throat> oh, okay. Well, we'll take that. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, we're do you go for it now? No, we're oh, still sorry. taking it. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Fourth and five from our own 26. Yeah, let's go for it. Go for it? No. So you're saying there's oh, a chance. they're trying to block it. They, they did a little substitution. Yeah. They saw that. Uh, yeah. Who was it the other night that blocked one? In the NFL game. Oh, with that That's a good kick by Tucker. Uh, bounces out. Oh, oh good. No. Takes a Buffalo bounce. It's at the 39-yard line. Good kick by Tucker. Yeah. Looks like that was going to go out of bounds at the 50 and then took a Buffalo bounce. Colleyville Heritage is up 42 to nothing in the second quarter. Nine minutes to go still over there in the second quarter. Well, we have two minutes and 24 seconds left in this half. You got a barn burner going over in Keller, where the Keller Indians are up twenty to two over the Central Chargers. Really? Uh, Chris, you are behind. Well, I'm just Half time. I'm it is fifty-two to nothing. Well, they're behind on the yeah. the it's scoreboard over here. Fifty-two to nothing over there. So, just so you guys know, I don't know. Chris and Joe are fascinated that we can see the scoreboard. It's really cool. It is yeah, kind of cool. It is. It really is. <laughs> at the other, at the other game. All right, hold on. Renda's back to throw. He's going to look to throw he's deep. He's got a man wide open, which Rock. is J Jacobs. Oh, yeah, Boy. Jordan Jacob. He Jordan was, Jacob. He Jacob, Jacob the Jordan. House. I, he was. He stepped out, but he was otherwise. He, he was wide open yeah. down the middle of the field. Uh, Southlake's going to have the ball all the way down here. They're from their 38 to the Haltom 32-yard line. Wow. Two receivers set off to the right. Uh, two receivers off to the left this time. Lone running back is Penn. Jacob's in motion. A little jet sweep over to Jacob, who's over the right oh, side. He gets tripped, tripped up. up. Oh, we're getting, we're getting a flag. We're getting a flag that for was, tripping. Yeah, was yeah we're getting a flag for tripping. <clears throat> I, didn't, I, I didn't think it was illegal, but, yeah, it's going to be tripping on hold. Tripping. <laughs> Defense. Four. That's on Jallo. And it wasn't on purpose. It was one of those where you're getting blocked and your legs are kind of sweeping out behind you. And It wasn't on Jallo. Jallo's not on the field. It was on 12. 12, okay. Yeah, they called it on four. Jallo's I think he said correction. Okay. I look. Josias Busa? Yeah. So it's going to bring an automatic first down from the 16-yard line. And we're at the two-minute mark here before the half. Renda's looking to throw, throws right, looking at the end zone, caught. Oh, that was a good throw. Touchdown, Southlake. That's the other sophomore, Brock, Brock Boyd. Yeah, Brock Boyd. Wow, that was a good pass, good touch. Right over uh, Busa. Yeah. But it was good coverage. He it just was. put it right over and put it over his outside shoulder toward the corner of the end zone to where Boos is not going to get that. He put, he put it right where only his receiver could catch. Yeah, that was a good throw. Kick is up and on the roof and good. <laughs> 1.44 to go here until halftime. Southlake extends their lead to 45-7 to over Halton. You know, at one point, this was a 14-7 game when Halton uh -huh. scored to make it 14-7 and had a lot of momentum. Yeah. And it's been all Southlake since then here in the first half. We're a second-half team, Joe. 
Yeah, we are. We make good adjustments at halftime. You shouldn't need an advanced degree to figure out how to pay for one. Hi, I'm Jack Webb and Edward Jones Financial Advisor. I want to help you understand all the options you have when paying for an education. Our phone number is 817-460-5311. Edward Jones, member SIPC. So, Jack. Yeah. You just said you don't need an advanced degree to pay for one. That's true. But you have to have a degree to work for Edward Jones. Yeah. I'm going to leave that to no comment, but yeah, <laughs> you do. I have a couple of them, in fact. <laughs> but some of us are nerds, like the nerds you're eating. It's okay. These are really good. <laughs> you remember, Jack, at the beginning of this, he said, I'm not going to eat these. These are horrible. Right. I really did. <laughs> Jalo is going to take a knee in the end zone. So Halton with 144 left in the second quarter is going to get the ball at their own 25. It'd be nice, Chris, Jack, if we could uh, score, push the ball down and get some points on the board. Yeah, right before halftime. Mm -hmm. Just have a little momentum going into half. Yeah. And then get the ball coming out of half and score again. You, you know, know I, this is a tough, you know, tough team we're playing. It is. Uh, but, South Lake's tough. Yeah, but I got to tell you, I, I'm still so proud of these boys. They, well, they're trying. Re yeah, you really are, and and you're right. What we got to keep in mind There's is a that handoff. Uh, Moore keeps it up the field for be two a good, yards. Yeah, two yard game. Yeah, well, we got to keep got in three mind, on that. What we got to keep in mind is a lot of these guys from South Lake are playing on Saturdays. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, that's the, that's we, the count. We well, you know what? I can we literally see. Well, I can literally see them going like tomorrow and suiting up and playing, and then they come back because they're in high school. But the college is just recruiting real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, that was and they're all sophomores, run, by the way. And yeah. they're all sophomores. So. Mm -hmm. Moore is going to pitch it out to Roberson. A little swing pass out to the left. Get just the brings it back scrimmage. to the line of scrimmage. I like the play call. Uh, he just didn't get a lot of yeah. blocking out there. The left tackle tried to get out there and help out, which is Sandoval. Did a good job getting out there, but when you have four dragons on two buffaloes, you're not going to get a lot of help. Well, I mean, if you guys remember, think about this. Um, last time we were on this field, playoff game? Yes. That was playoff yeah. game. Quinn Ewers was the quarterback for South Lake, and now he's – Starting for the Longhorns. Ooh. Hey, this is Braden Webb, defensive end, class of 2017. You're listening to the Halton Buffaloes on the Buffalo broadcast with Jack, Julian, Chris, and Joe. Go Buffs! Yeah, I was just, I was just making a point that that, you know, that's the caliber of oh sure players that they have here at South Lake. Well, you know? I, well I, when you recruit, yes, yeah. I mean that that helps. Yeah. Hey, once again, the uh, views and opinions. No, we've said that five problem. times, so I it's know. good. I can say that. <laughs> I, well, that's what I was telling Chris. The, the starting quarterback that is not suited up, he's a Georgia Tech commit. Yep. Hand off to God oh, wow. again he over that left the, side. That's at number he was ninety in again. The backfield. Yeah. That's at Aston uh, Davidge. They just can't block him on the line. Wow. He, came, he came in over the left side, right over our guard, like he was standing still, and tackled Roberson for a loss of one or two. That's going to bring up fourth and nine right now for the Buffaloes. Get a good play call. There were 40 seconds. Yeah. Halton was just trying to get the halftime on that and run the clock out. The last play, Southlake called timeout to try to stop the clock and get the ball back. 33 seconds left on the – Well, they're out of timeout. Yeah, they're out of timeouts 29, now. 29, 27. 26. So, so we're going to clock it down. Tucker will call timeout. Right. One. I take the penalty. Hold it. Their third time on that. Speaking of NFL players and former uh, Haltham Buffalo. Lance Dunbar, Haltham class of 2008. You are listening to the Haltham Buffalo broadcast with Chris, Jack, and Julian. Go Buffs. And Joe. And Joe. And Joe wasn't around then, though. Hey, you hey uh, we need to get Big V. He's he's starting for the Lions. He's, yes. He's the right guard for right. the Lions. Yeah, he's yeah. been looking really good. Yeah, I'd love to get him on here. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, Haltom's not uh, limited to NFL, NCAA players. We got, 
You were telling us, uh, Joe, earlier, uh, we've got a game this weekend for, uh, where we're going to have uh, three of our... No, 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 no. That's uh, October 14th. October 14th, we'll have three of our uh, former Buffaloes playing in an NCAA game. Yep, and that is uh, UMHB. We'll have Johnny Smith Ryder and Kenneth Cormier. They're playing Sol Ross, and Matthew Black is on at Sol Ross. Tucker, they're trying to block it. Tucker gets hit. Oh shoot, he got hit. They the ball's out though. Yeah, they didn't. Uh, they didn't. No, no flag. No, no flag. Wow. Well, look at Tucker. It. Look, look at Coach Tucker well, trying yeah, to figure it out because you had two South Lake Dragons barrel right into Tucker to Grady, right low at the knees. Well, Grady's had two ACL surgeries. Tucker's like, what is? They weren't even blocked into it. They just uh, right, right into it. He's yelling at him, and he oh, should. Yeah, he should. I mean, we're not. Hey, we're not being biased on that play. That was that was obvious. Yeah. They, they weren't blocked. They came in to block. Tucker had his plant foot down. His other kick. He had just kicked the ball. His leg was up, and he got barreled into by two dragons. Well, not only is it uh, wrong what happened, but that's your butt. That's your son. You don't yeah. want to see that. Do it eleven seconds. Just take a knee. Renda. Oh, no, he's looking to throw. He's going to throw to the right side. He's got a man who's Boyd. And he's takes out of it out of bounds. So six South Lake's trying to score here with six seconds to go. Up 45 to 7. Yeah. Well, it is homecoming. I'm there trying to make deep. excuses for this, but I don't know. No, see, I don't have excuses. This is why people don't like South Lake. Right. Are you going deep? Oh, yeah, they're going to they're gonna chuck it deep. Try to give him enough time to... Throw it as far as he can. Renda's looking to throw. Yep. He's going to throw the right pass. again. He's trying to get in field goal range. Oh, two seconds left. So they're going to they're going to send out Letterman. Oh yeah. Yeah, they are. They're going to send him out for a Lumberman's coming out. 40, 50 yard kick. No, it's a lot longer than that. Wait, he's uh, on the forty-one, 40, 50, so fifty-eight. Fifty-eight. Yep. He's on the forty-six. He's on the forty-one. Oh, he's, on, he's on the forty-one. Well. So, he, he 17 does yards have a leg. 17 yards from where the ball spotted so that is 58 it's a 58 yard field goal attempt Leverman he's got a leg bro block it and run it back kick is up oh, that's too short. Low. It's yeah. way short way it way looks short. like it might have got tipped <laughs> it, it, it was came low yeah, it, came, it came, came way off, way to, off the to the left it might have got it might have got tipped they ain't gonna show a replay so we're heading to halftime. We got a 28 minute halftime here. Halton Band's coming on the field. South Lake leads 45 to 7 here at Dragon Stadium. You're listening to the Buffalo broadcast. We're going to take a break, turn off our sound, and we will return after halftime. Want to sit at the cool kids' table? Then come see your favorite local comic store, Pastime Comics, located at 6120 Watauga Road, across from Watauga Middle School. They have a full variety of Marvel, DC, and Image comics, as well as Funko Pops and more. Pastime Comics, where heroes come to play. In the market for a new vehicle? Then come out and shop with Monty Coon and the fine folks with Marit Chevrolet. Let Monty get you into that new car, truck, or SUV. Marit Chevrolet is a proud sponsor of the BISD broadcast located at 9101 Camp Bowie West in Fort Worth. When someone asks me, when is the best time to start saving for retirement? My answer is simple, it's today. Hi, I'm Jack Webb, an Edward Jones Financial Advisor. I can help you identify your unique goals and help you build a strategy to achieve them. Our phone number is 817-460-5311. Edward Jones, member SIPC. The High Steppers are the greatest of Baltimore High School, founded by Dorothy Mine. Under the direction of Mrs. Deesa W. Jones, with assistance from Amy Gibson. The High Steppers would like to thank Superintendent of Schools and BISD, Dr. Gail Stinson. Associate Superintendent Skip Baskerville, Director of Fine Arts, Danny Dietrich, Assistant Director of Fine Arts, Mark McGahey, and Halton High School Principal, Dr. Christy Shirky. Teacher 
of the week is Coach Gilbert. Spirit High Stepper of the Week is Samantha Lopez. High Stepper of the Week is Jaden Daniel. High Stepper Social Officers are Jay Montalongo, Scarlett Urban, Haley Belvo, Kristen Sumner, and President Kate Houston. High Stepper Line Officers are Sophomore Lieutenant Angelina Wynn, Sophomore Lieutenant Vanda Nibon, Senior Lieutenant Trina Nibon, Senior Lieutenant Nayla Durden, and Captain Natalie Garcia. The High Steppers are celebrating 57 years of excellence and tradition. Please welcome, for your halftime entertainment, the fabulous 57th line of the Haltom High Steppers, performing a palm routine to Jungle Boogie. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great enthusiasm that Halton High School and the Halton Fine Arts Department proudly present the pride of Halton. We would like to recognize our sponsor, Abuelo, for their continued support of the pride of Halton. Thank you for all that you do. Tonight, the pride of Halton will perform portions of their 2023 production entitled To Tame the Perilous Sky, featuring music by David Halsinger and James Horne. Each week, the Pride of Alton recognizes an outstanding section for their dedication throughout the week. This week's section of the week. Congratulations to our freshman Woodwinds class. Thank you for a great week of hard work and improvement. Outstanding Musician Awards are given to Pride of Alton members who exhibit advanced musicianship in their individual instruments. This week's outstanding musician is junior clarinet player and drum major Carlos Ethania. Captains for the band are Brass Captain Lex Beside, Woodwind Captain Jason Mendoza, Percussion Captains Bush V and Osvaldo Rivera, and Color Guard Captain Rachel Moody. The band is under the field direction of Junior Drum Majors Raul Guerrero, Carlos Quintanilla, and Senior Drum Major Yuvia Duran. Pride of Holton, you may begin your halftime performance.
ladies and gentlemen, the pride of Holcomb. We would like to thank our principal, Dr. Christy Strickland, Assistant Fine Arts Director, Mark McGinty, Fine Arts Director, Danny Dietrich, Associate Superintendent, Skip Basterville, and Superintendent, Dr. Gail Stinson. We hope you enjoy the rest of the game, and go Bucks! Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the field the 2023 South Lake Carroll Dragon Band and the Emerald Bells. Emerald Bells title sponsor is Seven Therapy Company. Premier sponsors are Artistry in Motion Performing Arts Center, Relieve for Hope, Blue Door Studios, Whitley Penn, Willow Tree Custom Homes, and AWS Red Hat and IBM. Diamond sponsor for the Dragon Band is Vic McLean. Platinum sponsors are Serenity Gynecology, Methodist Health, Sewell, First Financial Bank, Mateo's Dad, and Eddie's Cat.
The Carroll Band Program has a proud tradition of excellence. The Dragon Band has made 15 appearances at the Texas UIL State Marching Contest, including two UIL State Championships. In 2021, the band was named a recipient of the prestigious international John Philip Sousa Sudler Shield. They were Bands of America Dallas Regional, St. Louis Super Regional, and UIL State Marching Competition finalists. The Dragon Band made their first ever performance at BOA Grand Nationals in Indianapolis this past fall, where they competed against 100 of the best bands from across the country and earned seventh place in the finals. The Carroll Dragon Band is under the field direction of drum majors Carson Forkner, Minju Kim, Fei Lau, Carissa Wong, and Caitlin Wong. Color Guard captains are Miranda Fay and Morgan Frazier. Lieutenants are Miriam Etheridge, Aditi Prabhu, and Anshika Soleti. Band members of the week this week are Aiden Eat and Mark Fahoum. Band leader of the week is Rowan Askantar. Band guard member of the week is Elizabeth O'Callaghan. And the section of the week is the front ensemble. Tonight, the Dragon Band will present their 2023 competition show, La Vie à Belle, featuring senior soloist David Zachariah on flute and Jake Tesno on horn. Ladies and gentlemen, La Vie à Belle.
The Dragon Band is directed by Ken Johnson, Philip Jones, David Lowne, John Grant, and James Thomas. Assistant directors are Nick McConaughey, Melissa Medell, Ian Agnar Barros. Field staff members are Tia Cherno, Simon Elizondo, Greg Maharko, Aaron Hicks, and Julia Wong. Five receiver set. Three to the right, three to the left. Intercepted by Keon Shannon. Intercepted. He's going. He's at the 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Hustle. This is the Haltom Football Broadcast on Facebook Live. Black takes the snap. He's going to keep it himself. He's up the middle. Touchdown, Touchdown. Touchdown. Here's Julian Rowe, Rowe, Jack Joe Joe Chris Hayes, Chris Hayes, and Cole, Hayes. And Cole Hayes. Well, we're back, guys. Can you hear? Can you hear us? Oh yeah, I can hear you. We can. I can yeah, hear you just fine. We yeah. sound kind of. Oh, there, there, there. Well, <laughs> I can't hear myself. You can't. And then it's going off. Give it a second. Yeah, we're back though. Welcome back, folks. Okay, we're back for, for real this time. Really back. Yeah. <laughs> kind of jealous we didn't have a horse and carriage that takes us around. Uh, that, that was kind of a was cool no uh, halftime, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, you think that's what we need to ask Coach Tucker for is a horse carriage? And car- we can't even get leather jacket. Hey, when oh. is the parade? Is that uh, the Thursday before the game? You, uh, you want to rent a horse and carriage to take us down the parade? I think we should have <laughs> buffaloes towing it. Can you tame a buffalo to do that? I've got a stuffed one at the house. So the that would be kind of fun. I mean, yeah. The Emerald Barrels. That's what they're called. Okay. Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is it perforated? Well, here come the Buffaloes. We got more fans in the stands. We do. We did win the Battle of the Bands, I think, on that one. I our think our so, band yeah. looked really good. They did. Prep it up for uh, contest season for them. So good luck to them this year, the uh, Halton Band. They looked really good on their 2023 performance. So we wish them luck throughout the year. Oh, 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 oh. Wake up, Chris. Wake up. I was just fine until I put the headset back on. (laughs) (laughs) So we're getting ready to kick off here. Holton's going to be receiving the second half kickoff. Southlake is leading this game 45-7. to Well, what do you think uh, the coaches told our boys in the locker room, guys? You finish strong. Yeah. Finish strong. Yep. I you like have that. 24 minutes of football I to like go. That. This one game yep. does not define your season. It doesn't matter what the score is. They know this. Execute your assignments. Yes. Execute your assignments. I think that's um, something we haven't done this first half real well on defense. So, every time you do that, charge the camera. You know what? I'm going to keep shaking the camera because <laughs> you keep turning that crowd mic up. You like this it? Is your, this is your pet peeve, and that crowd mic is my pet peeve. I know. I know I don't, why don't you like Because that? I, I can't hear myself. You can't hear yourself? When you get it real loud. Like this? Yeah, is that too I loud? I cannot. Okay. Yeah, no, really. I can't hear myself. So, I feel like 
If I'm better? not hearing, then the people oh, that no. are trying to listen to us. Oh, well, yeah, all right. What did you say, Chris? What? Exactly. So <laughs> what? Pretty soon. All right. So there's the kickoff. We weren't ready as usual. But it is into the end zone. Yep. So there's going to be a touchback. Halton's going to bring it out first and 10 from their own 25. I will say this about their mascot that I've noticed. That I think a third grader drew it years ago, <laughs> years and years ago, and they just stuck, stuck with it. I, I don't get the lightning out of the mouth. I don't either. Two running back set right now for the Buffaloes. Two receivers set off to the left. Moore up under center. He's going to pitch out to Ramirez Powell, who's under pressure. Uh, he picks up three. Him. Did he get three? It's well, hard well, to yeah, hard to tell. I'm, I'm waiting for the far side. Yeah. Uh, uh, one and yep. two. <laughs> he gets two. Uh, they gave him one up there on the scoreboard. Well, the announcer said twenty-seven, two. See, our angle is better. Second and nine. Yeah. <laughs> Second and nine to go right now for the Buffaloes. But you know who came flying through? There was ninety-one. The those those two. Some more, back in the gun. Hands off to Ramirez Powell over the right. He gets nowhere. Gets back to the line of scrimmage. Luckily, he gets back to the line yep. of scrimmage. There's coming up third and nine right now for the Buffaloes. Uh, we got a dragon. Is that a, no, that's a buffalo, that's a buffalo down. down. That's Ramirez Powell is down on the ground. Yeah, it is, Devin. Yep. Looks like he's. Mm, they're checking him out right now. I can't, I can't tell. Maybe right knee. Hey, Buff Nation. This is Coach Joe Ward of Haltom High School, and you're listening to the one and only Haltom Buffalo broadcast with Jack, Chris, Julian, and Joe all day long. Go Buff! Left leg. Uh, he's up. Okay. They helped him up. He's walking. He's walking on his own. Got a little limp, but he'll be all right. He's going to bring up third and nine right now for the Buffaloes. So Tyus Davis checks in at running back for the Buffaloes. Number two. <clears throat> As Chris said, brings up third and nine. Two receiver set. Moore's going to roll out to his right. He's going to look to throw. Oh, Jalo dropped. dropped oh, it. I think he was hit late. Yeah, he was hit late back here. I think we're going to have He's hit late, the or they're going to have a hold. We're going to find out. Personal yeah, it's. Mm -hmm. That's an automatic first down for Haltham. 15 yards, automatic first down. Yeah, it was a good pass, Chris. Uh, hit Jalo, and he should have caught it for the first down, but he dropped it. But. Uh, the penalty does give us a first down. So that is penalty number seven on South Lake. Mm -hmm. tonight. Two on Haltom, seven on South Lake. That's going to put the ball at the 41 yard line right now of the Buffaloes. So they're going to have it first and 10. 10.50 to go here in the third quarter. We're just getting started after halftime. This is the first drive. So we're going to have a two, three receiver set off to the right this time. Uh, now DQ Barnes. Okay, now. We got all kinds of motion going on. Ooh, we got a flag. We got a flag because they couldn't get set. False start. Offense, number 78, five-yard penalty, first down. Well, that's on our Chris, right you tackle. jinxed us. I now did, we got three. I, I did jinx us. Sorry, we got three. <laughs> that's on uh, Farrat, <clears throat> our right tackle out there. That takes the ball back five yards. It's going to bring up first and 15 from our own 36-yard line. Moore is in the gun. He's going to take it, keep him himself. Oh, man. That, no, that's at number, number 90. 90. Again. He just bowls right over our center, just right over him. That's a Davage. He's coming from a linebacker spot, and the minute Moore had the ball, he was on him. So that is a loss of four. It's going to bring up second and 19. We go from a first and 10 to a second and 19. Oh, 
Buffaloes are coming up. Moore's up under center. He's going to take it. A little quick hit out to Jallo, who breaks it. Oh, oh he fumbled it out of bounds. Ball. Oof. Man, he, he still got some yardage. He it. got some yardage. He yeah, he, no, he did. He got some yardage, but I think he hangs on to that, and he's got more. Uh, he's got a lot more. He's yeah. ca- he was carrying the ball loose, just kind of running with it out to his side, and not have the ball tucked. And it looked like he yeah. ju- juked around the defender, got past him, and when he just kind of twisted his body, the ball just flew out of his out of his hand. Yeah, yeah. out of his hands, out of bounds. So. That's going to He picks up seven yards. That's third and 12. But he might have had the first, if not a lot more. Oh, yeah. I think he had a lot more. Yeah. Because he made a good move. All right. Moore's going to roll out to his right looking. He's going to be taken down. Oh, I think that's a face mask. That's face mask. Yep. And there are two flags that come in. Well, you got to. <laughs> oh, Ashton's down. Yeah. Yeah, Ashton. Yeah, Ashton's flash, down. There's a face mask. Ashton's the one that took the face mask. Hey, this is Cole Hayes, quarterback, class of 2017, and you're listening to the Halton Buffalo broadcast with Jack, Chris, Julian, and Joe. Go Buffs! So Ashton, they're helping up. He's up. Yeah, that was a nasty face mask that twisted Ashton around, but he's walking off the field on his own. He's going to come out for a couple plays after that. Yeah. So, <coughs> late hit earlier. Now the face mask. Yeah, he's uh, he's taking a little bit of a beating tonight. South Lake's giving up about 30 yards on penalties right now. Now it's uh, – so, so Todd Dodge wants to settle his defense down. They're getting a little uh, crazy over there, I think. So, mm-hmm. he's called a timeout. Life happens. You can't predict the unexpected, but you can prepare. Hi, I'm Jack Webb and Edward Jones Financial Advisor. I can help you with your financial goals and planning with life's ups and downs in mind. Our phone number is 817-460-5311. Edward Jones, member SIPC. So, it, it, just like in that ad, you... You have to. You can't expect the unexpected, is what Jack said. Just like when you go to talk, Joe, yeah. and he just cuts you off. That's unexpected. <laughs> it's totally unexpected. It's almost like having peppercorn on your chicken or something like that. <laughs> that it's sounds unexpected. good, actually. It does, but it's. Un- I know. I love peppercorn. I do too. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes you get it on your food; it's unexpected, but you still eat it. You know, I, I think uh, Dodge called that timeout. I think he was a little bit upset. And I guess since he called the timeout, Ashton gets to come back in because Ashton's checking back in Ashton's at quarterback. Ashton's back in. Mm-hmm. All right, Ashton's coming up under center. Uh, three running back set. That's oh, shoot. And, of course, there's seven dragons in the backfield the minute that the ball is pitched backwards. Uh Sorry, I'm going to say it. Our offensive line just forgot how to block so far Yeah. on the last, like, three plays. Uh, and here's the thing. When you watch the South Lake, they're not rushing. Uh-uh. That's their defensive line. Their four down linemen are just blowing right by the offensive line of Halton. Nine minutes and 31 seconds left here in the third quarter. It's going to bring up second and 11 right now for the Buffaloes. Jack, you know what you sounded like right there? What? Like a, like a bingo caller. <laughs> B9. B9. Oh, oh shoot. my gosh. Come on. Well, uh, well uh, more. snap that Moore wasn't ready for, hit him in the chest, and Southlake recovers at the oh, 50. 50. Yeah. So, yeah, Moore was, a, was looking to change the play, was calling. He's looking off to his left. Here comes the snap, hits him in the chest, and number 90 of Southlake just falls on the ball. So, Southlake takes over. Just, just mistakes right now by the mm-hmm. Buffaloes. In the market for a new vehicle? Then come out and shop with Monty Kuhn and the fine folks with Marit Chevrolet. Let Monty get you into that new car, truck, or SUV. Marit Chevrolet is a proud sponsor of the BISD broadcast, located at 9101 Camp Bowie West in Fort Worth. I I think it's time to update everybody's (laughs) ads, including Pastime Comics. What do you say? Renda back to throw. He's He's got got a man wide open, but he overshot Jacobs. Mm Mm-hmm. I was going to say, you know, I mean, we're, we're making some costly mistakes, but, you know, things 
we're letting things compound on each other. Yes. Instead of forgetting that play, you know, we're thinking about things we did wrong, and we're trying to overcorrect, and we're trying to do things. We just need to play ball, you know. Southlake with our first offensive possession here in the second half. Running back, is that Penn? No, that's Glenn. Penn Glenn. Okay, so Glenn, there's a little pass out here to Boyd over here on the right. He's going to be taken out of bounds after about a gain of four. It's going to bring up third down. Harkless on the tackle. Four receiver set, three receiver set, sorry, for the Dragons. Two off to the yep. left. Now they're bringing out a fourth receiver. Renya takes a step back, looking off to the right, throws. Oh, shoot. Incomplete. Looked like he fell yeah. when he made his cut. So. It's going to bring up fourth down for the Dragons. This is their first fourth wow. down that they've had to face in the game. Uh, they're going to go for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. I, mean, I thought they had another fourth down. Did, did they, they kick? No, they haven't. They punted. Well, they no, they kicked a field goal. Field goal. Okay. He, he hit okay. that fifth. Yeah. He tried. Uh, yeah, he hit that field goal earlier. So. Four receivers set for the Dragons, two to each side. Empty backfield. Renda looking to the sideline for the play. Jack brought his Skittles. Heck, yeah. Sugar this sub. This would be a great time for a sack. Renda's looking, looking, looking. Throws over the middle. Got a man wide open. Number seven. Just wide open. That's Jacob Jake, Jordan. Jacob Jordan. Wide open over down. the middle. Picks yeah. up the first down. That's just a deep slant. That's Ooh, a simple deep slant right over the middle. And it Man. was wide open. Nobody around him. Glenn checks back in at running back for the, the Dragons. 8.33 left here in the third quarter. B12. <laughs> four, receiver, four receiver stack, actually. Two on each side. Running back is Glenn. A little throw off to the right again to number four. That's going to be. Caden Jackson. Yep. Picks up five. Mm -hmm. It's going to bring up second and five right now from the Haltom 18-yard line. Boy, he likes uh, he likes Brock in these situations. I'd watch him down here. He's he's the lone receiver to the right. He is. Chris. He's got man coverage over because mm -hmm. the safeties have shifted over on the trip receivers off to the left. So you got man to the right. He's going to hand off instead over to the right side. Ooh. Glenn is going to get Glenn in. He's going to get in. Then he's going to show off and show his muscles, even though he went in untouched. So that's classy. He runs it in from 18 yards, shows his muscles why he's running in the end zone, turning around at a Halton defender. Yeah, I don't know why he didn't get penalized for that. I don't know. But puts him up 51-7. to seven. Oh, he's getting a talking to right now. Riley Dodge is in his ear. You see that? Yeah, I see it now. Mm-hmm. He's like, no, no, we are not going to do that. Yeah, he's, he's getting yeah, there he's full. chewing yeah. his butt. Yeah. Good for right, Coach well, Dodge. Okay, I'll you know? give it to yeah. Coach Dodge for that because, I mean, you got some unnecessary celebrating against football. Yeah, you know. But when you, are, when you have overmatched your opponent yes. tonight, the game is in hand, and Southlake knows it. Then this is usually where the teams of the past at South Lake, they're very classy in mm -hmm. victory. Yep. They don't do anything. This is what we've been told by former players. They yep. don't do anything. They don't talk. They play the game. This and group tonight's a little different. And, I, and I, I, like you said, I give it to Coach Dodge. That was a coaching moment that he, yes, he he corrected it. it. Yes. You know what I mean? And that was good. Want to sit at the cool kids' table? Then come see your favorite local comic store, Pastime Comics, located at 6120 Watauga Road, across from Watauga Middle School. They have a full variety of Marvel, DC, and Image comics, as well as Funko Pops and more. Pastime Comics, where heroes come to play. 
Chris, that candy bar is hard now. You can go ahead and eat it. It is a Hershey's milk chocolate bar. Yeah. yeah. It is. Remember it, was it was mushy. Completely. I was, know. No, it wasn't. It was melted completely. <laughs> I, I, hate, I hate it when it's soft. <laughs> All right, so we got Jalo and Roberson back deep. Uh, South Lake after the score is up 52-7. to seven. And a kick. Lemmerman Will this one kick? be brought back? It No. no it hits the go. end zone and bounces out. So Halton is going to take over first and 10 from their own 25-yard line with <coughs> 7.36 to go here in the third quarter. Let's see who's coming out at quarterback. If they're still going to bring more out, he is. He's on the sideline getting the call in right now from Tucker. You shouldn't need an advanced degree to figure out how to pay for one. Hi, I'm Jack Webb and Edward Jones Financial Advisor. I want to help you understand all the options you have when paying for an education. Our phone number is 817-460-5311. Edward Jones, member SIPC. Southlake's warming up a new quarterback down here. Carter Lynn. Yep. Man in motion. Oh, we my just gosh. We pitch it backwards, and Southlake has recovered the fumble. So Moore pitches it to nobody. He just turned around and pitched the ball back to nobody. I think and that was just the, some miscommunication because yeah, I exact, think it was Devin who was – He took off running yeah. to the right, but it looked like Devin cut up field when Moore turned around to pitch. So I think you're right. It was a, it was completely blown Yeah, here's a replay. Look, it said instant replay. Are they going to show it? No, they got no. it. Oh, yeah. Well, they showed it when they recovered the fumble. Yeah. But no, I agree. That was just a complete yeah. blown play miscommunication by the Buffaloes. And now South Lake recovers the fumble and has the ball first and 10 from the 18 yard line. <laughs> Lynn's getting an ear full, too. I guess he was still warming up. He's just now running on the field. So checking in, number 12, Carter Lynn at QB for the Dragons. He hands off to, to his Glenn. running back, to Glenn, who takes it around the right side. He's got running room. There's the uh, horse collar by Acevedo. It's going to be 15 yards, half the distance to the goal. So that's going to be a penalty on Holtham. Purple foul, face mask, offense. Oh, face mask, offense. I thought – I what? agree with Wait you, Chris. I, I thought, thought they were going to get Pedro. Collar. Yeah. But but you know what? That's what I was going to say was he didn't come down, so I don't know if he just had a hold of the jersey. Okay, maybe so. You know, but you know what I'm saying? Hard, yeah. It, it was yeah, hard yeah. to hear, and you can't see a replay, so no. okay, we had that All right, good. Yeah, I mean, you and I were both seeing a horse collar, yeah. and the, the flag, and the flag came out, out immediately, but yeah. But they're calling the face mask yeah, on the offensive line, so an offensive lineman. Yeah. So which – Backs them up. Yep. So they're going to have it first and 10 from the 8. No, it'll the be first and 15, I believe. Yeah. Well, oh, this is their second time out of the half. This will be first and 20 for Southlake, actually. Yeah. Dodge. Dodge is a little upset. They do not look as sharp as they've looked. You know? Yeah. With all the penalties and personal fouls and. Oh, gosh. How's the uh, score looking over oh, there? Uh, let me check it out. From 1,000 feet away. I see the out. scoreboard flashing. Uh, it, it, is it was a close game. Into the third quarter, it is 62. <laughs> and I cannot see that bottom score. Zero? Pam, if you're it's looking for the single, score. It's a single digit, so it's either zero. It's got. A, I think it is zero. Wow, that's great by an over Trimble Tech. Pam, the score for this game is scrolling across the bottom. Third quarter, how much time, seven, how South Lake 52, left? and there's 6.54 left in the third quarter. That's our own version of Siri. That's Jerry. <laughs> Hand <laughs> off to Lynn. Who's up the middle, or still Glenn. bouncing. Yeah. He's going to be brought down after a gain of 10. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh, eight, because it was first and 18. Is what first and 18. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, a gain of eight. Yep. Gain of eight. Okay. Brings up second and 10. Well, I guess Penn, number three, has seen his night come to an end after 200-plus yards rushing and four touchdowns. Yep, and Christian Glenn is the running back with yes. Carter Lind as the quarterback. Glenn over to the left side. Oh, gets good, good tackle. hit hard by Bird. That's a great tackle by Alexander Bird. It was Bird and uh, – Jaden Davis. 
It's going to bring up third and ten now for the Dragons from the Haltom 19-yard line. Little pitch out. Oh, oh had yeah. him in the backfield. They still got him. They still the got him a loss. They still yeah. got him for a loss. <clears throat> but but Bird read that perfectly. Yeah, Bird Bird did. Bird came in and read that perfectly. Had him for it would have been about another yard loss. But hey, they got him for a loss of four. It looks like or three. It's going to bring up fourth down and thirteen, and 13 from the twenty-one yard line. The Dragons are going to go for it here. I think this is where Dodge just keeps running the ball. Yeah, we'll see what he does. Just like Jack said, these guys, second stringers and, and beyond, are getting some, some good reps in, you know? He's going to drop back the throw. He's going to look over. He's got his man. He's going to be taken out of bounce. Not, that enough, not, of, not enough not for enough the first. Out of bounce. So <laughs> out of bounds. Bounds. Bounce. Bounce. So the Buffaloes take over at their own 12. Really? At their own 12, yes. Yeah. So we made wow. a defensive stop. Good for them. Haltom's going to take over. Four minutes and 55 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Haltom's taking over first and 10 from their own 11-yard line, trailing 52-7 to seven here in Southlake tonight. You know, Krispy Kreme would be nice if it was open. Southlake crowd has cleared right out <laughs> quite a bit, actually. Lower well, they got a homecoming dance to get to, I guess. That's probably it. Moore still in at quarterback. He's going to keep it himself. Run over the right side, and he's not going to get much. Oh, Take no. That he, back. He no, did. he did. He picked it up look six. Like six. Yeah, he's, yeah. He's, scr he's scraping. Yep. He's still running hard. His helmet came off, so he had to come off the field. So we were probably going to run that wildcat with Rich, but let's see. Oh, no. They no. got seven yards. He's yeah, it is Rich. Rich is in. coming in. Yeah, it's going to bring up second and three now from the 18-yard line. You're right. There's the. That one, he's around the right-hand side. Picks uh, up two. Picks up two. It's going to bring up third and one. Ashton's going to come back in. Bring up third and one right here for the Buffaloes. They're a little slow on. They're their calling it second and three. Okay, they got a. Yeah, they haven't slow, updated it yet. Yeah, they're slow on their board. Third Place and one. Two, Sixteen seconds on the play clock. Two running back set right now. More up under center. Moore's going to keep it himself. He's oh, got running room. And he picks Moore. up seven. Yeah. Nice hard run by Moore up the middle. That's going to bring up a first down for the Buffaloes. And that's good for a Marit Chevrolet first down. And we're going to move the chains. Moore's looking to throw. He's got that He's going double deep. pump fake. He's got, got Jallo in stride. There's Jallo. Oh, he's breaking he away. He no flags. Gone. Touchdown, Buffaloes. Nice pass. He hit Jallo in stride. Okay, Jallo. How about that? Moore took Good a pass. hit after. Yep. But Moore, beautiful pass by Ashton Moore to Jallo. Yeah, Ashton hung in there, made the throw. Uh, good for him. Good pass. Yeah. Jallo had about a two-yard step, and Moore put it right in Jallo's hands. Lovatola's so on for the uh, PAT. South Lake is all side. Just all a little. Sides. Yeah. They hit three guys, Joe. Mm -hmm. I told you we're a second half team. Go for two? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> mm -mm. All right. Well, I'm just checking. You 
know, we have called a lot of games where we've been on the other side of this. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, it was snap was bobbled. He got it. He he, he, he took him a while to get down. Yes, yeah. but he got it. Jallo got it down. Vitolis like makes a kick. Almost like a little slow knuckleball uh, right over the right over so the crossbar. So with two fifty nine left to play in the third quarter, that brings the score fourteen to fifty two. The Dragons over your Buffaloes. In the market for a new vehicle? Then come out and shop with Monty Kuhn and the fine folks with Moritz Chevrolet. Let Monty get you into that new car, truck, or SUV. Moritz Chevrolet is a proud sponsor of the BISD broadcast, located at 9101 Camp Bowie West in Fort Worth. That's a nice little bit there, Jack. Well, we're going to have to redo it. Coach Ward said he's got a stomach bug. Uh, oh, he's not broadcasting tonight? No, I don't know if he is. He just Poor dude. Hope you get to feel him better soon. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, we got a new song now. I don't want to get kicked off the radio here. By Chris? No. Yeah. Oh, 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 that crowd oh, mic up. Oh, I'll kick you off. <laughs> <laughs> Vitolis getting ready to kick off here after the Haltham score. Kicking off from his own 40-yard line. And nice kick. It's going to be fair caught at the 8-yard line. You think he was instructed to fair catch that? Yeah. Probably so. Caden Jackson. He's had some pretty good returns. So, yeah, I, I think he was instructed. So it looks like Carter Lynn's going to stay in at QB for uh, the Dragons. So, you know, preseason, everybody had South Lake ranked number one in district. I mean, besides, who would be? Byron Nelson will be their big uh Well, their and big Keller, test. I think Keller could be a shock for him. Keller is 4 How's, he, how's Eaton doing this year? Uh, what were they, 2 and 2 going into this week? They won last night by 18. There's a little jet sweep over to number 15, who is Jake Fulmer, who picks up about 13 yards. Yeah. And the first down. Yep. Right. 253 left here in the third quarter. You know what's good? What's good? Peppercorn sausage. <laughs> See, we started talking about that. Now I've got that. <laughs> I got that <laughs> little Lynn pass over here to pass. 80, as tight, which is normally as tight end. And that is Owen Cook. And he picks up a first down. <laughs> so Cook. Again, next week we are off. The boys have a bye next week until they resume district play October 6th. Which is at home, home homecoming, homecoming against. Uh, I think Byron, it's Byron Nelson. Nelson. Glenn with the Glenn. handoff. Yeah, Might have got two yards, maybe three. They're giving him three. Buffs came in on that. Yeah, they did. They they, uh, they defended that very good up the middle. Carter Lenz looking to the sideline for the play right now. He's got a two-receiver set off to the left. Everybody's got tight formation here. Two off to the right. Takes a snap. He's going to hand off to Glenn, who's around the left side. Uh, he breaks it around the left side. Got some running room. Acevedo, Acevedo pushes knocks him, him out. Yeah, knocks him out. Uh, again, that's going to be a nice run by Glenn. Coach Tucker is not happy with his safeties out there. He's uh, getting in the tail end of somebody, Joe. Because mm-hmm. he came jogging down the sideline and uh, lit into one of his safeties out there. Because they were delayed. They were still across uh-huh. the field instead of pursuing that play. So, All right, same formation here. Actually, I have a two-receiver set this time. 
Everybody's tight bunched. Lynn, Lynn draws back to throw. He's going to throw. It's that little lob over the middle. That's going to be pass interference yeah. on Haltom, which it was. Haltom had two guys down there. Both were not looking for the ball. That's an easy pick if uh, if our defenders turn around on that. Uh, Lynn, yeah, you're right. He, I'm not saying his, his throwing motion's a little yeah, it's different. It's it, a little yeah, short. He, yeah, he's short. It's like a arms. short arm. It's yeah. almost like an Aaron Rodgers throw where he doesn't pull his arm all the way back. He just cocks his elbow and It's almost it. like an Aaron Rodgers sidearm throw. Right. But yeah. over the top. Over the top, you know? right. Yes. Who else does something like that, is it? If that makes sense, guys. Yeah, no, it does. Uh, who did that? Uh, uh, <clears throat> so that's going to bring up uh, first and 10 on the Buffalo 12. He's going to hand off to Glenn, who bounces around the outside, finds the end zone. He did not flex this time. No, he did not. He carried he the ball. Turns around. Yep. He didn't even want to jump. <laughs> you see that? Yeah, I think I think Coach Todd got into him enough. <laughs> well, I think I, that's I'm three good. touchdowns. I'm going to sit down. I'm not going to. Right. <clears throat> yeah, I'd be curious to see how much our running backs have had, how, how many yards. Pin. And then, yeah. Pin and Glenn. Glenn. Lind. I, I think they went out. It's like they got kids with the end on mm -hmm. their last names. Oh, so we got a reversal here. The brothers Linderman, younger Linderman. Oh, younger Linderman's kicking. Well, with uh, Alderman, the older Linderman holding. Well, here we are with uh, minute 11 left in the third quarter. Good job. South Lake Dragons are leading 59 to 14. A very good job, Jack. Well, I, I that's try. why he's paid. That's why Jack gets I paid. I get uh -huh. the big bucks for that. What are we getting paid these days? Anybody know? Uh, a little bit more than we did last year. I don't know so if a little bit more of nothing well, is. So a if whole not. Lot. Plus not. Yes. It's, it's got to be a not. It's got to be a little bit more not. Oh wait, wait, wait. not times not. Is wait, not times one. No, I'm in the hole because the gas charges. Wait, right so now. we. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got to take out our oh, gas for driving. Our negative. We're in negative. We're, We're always in negative. That's all right. <laughs> That's all right. You know what, guys? I've enjoyed doing this with you guys. What are you resigning? No. Okay. <laughs> I think that game's over. <laughs> you know, they just called it over there in Grapevine? Well, the screen's off. Well, they could have went to a running clock, too. Yeah. They will do that. Oh. So it's 59-14 to 14 here. South Lake's getting ready to kick off. Minute 11 to go here in the third quarter. There's the kick. It is deep and in the end zone. Jalo Beep. will let it go over his head. Halton will take over first and 10 from their own 25. Moore's coming back out. Want to sit at the cool kids' table? Then come see your favorite local comic store, Pastime Comics, located at 6120 Watauga Road, across from Watauga Middle School. They have a full variety of Marvel, DC, and Image comics, as well as Funko Pops and more. Pastime Comics, where heroes come to play. Pastime Comics, come in and see me. Give me the code word PEPPERCORN, and I'll give you 20% off your total order tomorrow. Moore is going to keep it himself over the right side, pick up about seven yards. I mean, we're going with the peppercorn. Peppercorn yeah, gets you twenty twenty percent off your your total at order past time at comics. Past. Hey, did you dress up last weekend? I thought you were going to dress up. I wonder. Remember what did we say he was going to dress up? Yeah, as, he Jack? was. You didn't listen to the broadcast last week. Did he you didn't. What were y'all? Batman. Night? Yeah, yeah. You were going to be Batman. I we wonder, said that you were going to dress up as if Batman. We could get like a code word for Monty and give it like twenty percent off. It truck or something. Oh, they need to. Have you seen their prices? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's everybody's prices these days. Yeah. I mean, I go in there looking for the Dollar General car prices and I ain't find them. Uh, oh, man, he is caught, tried Devin. a jet sweep, Devin did, but uh, the right side of the South Lake defensive line was waiting on him and that nice run <laughs> by, by Ashton of nine yards puts it at a negative seven yards right now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it brings up uh, third and third eight. and eight. Yep. Yeah, you need to dress up tomorrow. Why? Why would I dress? Okay, that's going to be the end of the third. But why am I dressing up? Tomorrow? I don't know. We said you were last week and you didn't. I wouldn't even listen to the game last week. Well, that's what you get for not listening to us. Where were we? Right, last Jack. Week? That's right. You had just gotten back from a trip, and you listened, and we were talking about you. You were talking about I was gone having somewhere something on Friday night though. 
No, you came back and Oh, the game came, was Thursday. Yes. Okay, I was in uh, Kansas City for work. Okay. That's why, because I landed in at halftime of the game. Okay. So, I mean, I could have come to the game. But so I was tired. We, I had to get a shake. and you know. So you play. should dress as Batman tomorrow. I don't look like Batman. I, I kind of look more like. You, you do look like Batman at 60 years old. I'm not 60, but that's <laughs> close. <laughs> Are you going to be like my little luchador? No. Huh. No, I'm Alfred. Uh, L. Robin? I'm L. Alfred. You're, you're more like a Robin. Uh-huh. You shouldn't need an advanced degree to figure out how to pay for one. Hi, I'm Jack Webb and Edward Jones Financial Advisor. I want to help you understand all the options you have when paying for an education. Our phone number is 817-460-460. 5311. Edward Jones, member SIPC. I got it. Julian is your Robin. I'm the commissioner. Oh, so Ashton. I like Ashton's looking to throw. He's going to run up the main. He's going to be oh, hit. Oh, he's hit right when he threw. Yeah. And he got. Are they counting that as a fumble? No, incomplete pass. Incomplete he's, pass. Uh, <laughs> a South Lake well, I was going to say, the Dragons were trying yeah, to count it as uh-huh. a fumble, but I don't think that quite. Yeah, I like that. that. Don't so, you like that, Jack? Batman, Julian's Robin, oh, I'm the commissioner. You're not the commissioner. You I'm would the think, commissioner. You would think what do I Jack, get to be? Uh-huh. Catwoman. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, you would think Jack would I be am out, no Michelle Pfeiffer. By the way, best best Catwoman ever. You're Commissioner Gordon, Jack. Oh, I definitely. Yeah, I am kind of that guy, aren't I? Grady Tucker ready to kick. Great kick by Grady. It's going to be we're doing the hokey pokey over here on the South Lake sideline. And the Grady Tucker punt goes out of bounds at about the 32 yard line. Grady Tucker with their first and I still like the Big Bang Theory. Yeah. So, because Jack is a train enthusiast, so he's Sheldon. Oh, I'm so Sheldon. I'm Stuart, since I have the comic store. That makes sense. Yeah. Yep. Joe, you can be Raj. Um, hey, we have a question here from Max. He was asking <laughs> some of the questions that we had earlier. What's up, Max? Uh, about Max English. About, you know, the onsides kick, um, the starters starting the second half, uh, some questionable things that Carol might be doing. I don't think they're doing them intentionally, Max. I think, uh, yes, I do see it. Uh, I think they're probably working on some things. You know, you can work on work on them in practice all day long, but yep. game situation yep. is very, very different. Um, I will tell you this, Max. We were talking about you know the flexing of Glenn when he scored, and Coach Riley Dodge jumping on him, taking that moment to to have a coaching moment with that individual and let him know that that wasn't proper. So um, I agree some of the things can look that way, Max, but I, I, I think it's not intentional by Southlake. You got anything different to add on that, Chris? No, no I'm right there with I'm you. I think it's 100% true. With you, I, yeah. I think that the, the taunting little celebrating, like you said, was quickly uh, exterminated by, uh, by Dodge. <laughs> yes, he, uh, he caught that immediately and was like, we don't do that over here. Uh, before that, a cup, the late hit, and then the face mask, and their players celebrating well, that. Well, and all the penalties. Yeah. Well, well, he ended that real fast. Yeah, yeah. That's when he called that timeout after that and had enough of that. And uh, ever since then, no, I, I don't think nothing's intentional. I think the onside kick out. Of course, we say it up here in the booth because well, we're, I mean, was we're it intentional or was it an accident? No, I think the now the onside kick was that was intentional. But again, like Joe said, they can be trying to work on stuff, and you you want. Game situations to work on things. Yeah, I mean, you can work on these things in practice all day long. It's not the same as game situation. Correct. Correct. So. It's going to bring up, uh, that was a first down reception for South Lake. They're going to have a first and 10 from the, their own 47-yard line. But, yes, that could also be a situation where they had that in their playbook to go, okay, what if we're down, what if we're up by this much, we need an onside kick. Let's try it and see how we, how it gets reacted and how yep. we react. Ten minutes left on the clock here in the rough for the rest of the game. Jet sweep to number six over the right side. Acevedo brings him Ooh. down after about a gain of seven. And that is Eric Busman on the run for the Dragons. Eric Busman on the carry. 
Acevedo shaking up just a little, but he's staying in. Just like I said, we have called plenty of games on the Haltom side to where we have been on the, the, we sure have. the good yeah. side of a 59-14 to 14 game before. Uh, Sunset? Even more than that, even during that 14-1 uh, and one year. Acevedo is shaking up. They're Yeah, I think they're going to – oh, we call it a timeout. Yeah, it's his shoulder. He's holding his left shoulder. 30 seconds away. Yeah, look at him with his arm. Yeah, he is not wanting to come off the field. No. But he can't, he can't move it. A big congratulations to the 2023 Draft Alumni Network honorees. The Jay Armstrong Award for Outstanding Alumni in the market for a new vehicle? Then come out and shop with Monty Kuhn and the fine folks with Moritz Chevrolet. Let Monty get you into that new car, truck, or SUV. Moritz Chevrolet is a proud sponsor of the BISD broadcast located at 9101 Camp Bowie West in Fort Worth. Yeah, they're taking Pedro out. Yeah. yeah it's they're, a smart decision. No, they're... they're he's, uh, I think he's got a shoulder stinger because... They're not taking. Oh, he's starting to move it now. Yeah, yeah, he's starting to move it. I think he's got a stinger because he's got full motion of it. So that's good to see. Uh, you like to see that. That's one thing you want on a game like this. Get out of here healthy. You're going to have uh, bumps and bruises, but you don't want to see any kind of injuries that, or any players miss any time. South Lake's going to be facing a second and three here. Lynn is going to hand off to. Is that, is that Bussy? Bus? Busman. Busman, that's 31. Oh, no, 31. 31 is uh, Jake Irwin. Jake Irwin on the carry. Picks up a yard. Coming up third and one. So Haltom is going to fall to one and one in district play. We've got eight minutes to go in the game. They're trailing 59 to 14. Uh... Man, but you got some bright games ahead, and you got some good games coming up. I, I, I still enjoy watching these guys play this year. Yeah, that's pinned back in. No, that's 31. Was He's it 31? Getting, yeah, I thought it was still Irwin. It's 31. There he is. Okay. Uh, no, I do too. I mean, after the win last week, I mean, you have a win right now in district, and you're one – you knew this game was going to be a challenge. Right. right. You play South Lake, this one's going to be a challenge. Right. Uh, with a young team that Haltham has. Now, you've got Timber Creek. You've got Fossil Ridge still. Uh, very winnable games coming up in their schedule. Uh, you can pull one out against. Oh, good oh, hit. Man. Great, great hit out <laughs> there. He got uprighted. That's uh, Busa. That? Busa. Busa. Josias Busa on a great hit out there. It's going to bring up second down, but. You, if you can pull off, the, uh, you get the win against Fossil Ridge. You can win against Timber Creek, and if you can pull the win out against Keller, Eaton, or Byron Nelson, you find yourself in a playoff spot. And for what they showed, oh, there's a jet oh, yeah. sweep out to the right 15. side again. Who's that over here? That's uh, 25. It looks like that's Lucas Bryan on the tackle. Good pursuit by Bryan. Mm -hmm. Uh Fulmer picks up the first down. But, yeah, Joe and Jack, after what we saw against Richland, Basel, last week's win. Yeah. Uh, this I one mean, you just got to scratch off and just say, hey. It's South Lake. Yeah. It's, but yeah, you say you that and I mean? just say, you know what, we're, there's no drawing board. We're getting back to what we do. <coughs> next, You know, we're off next week. We're going to heal up. We're going to recoup. And then we're ready for our homecoming game against Byron Nelson. Uh, Byron Nelson is not what they were in the past. They lost both of them and Eaton last year. Lost a bunch. Yeah, timeout South Lake. That's their third. Six fifty left on the clock here for the rest of the game. And yeah, Chris, I agree. It's, yeah. uh, so you, know, you got to get the the boys back out on the field practicing, scratch this one off, get it out of their head. And they need to be proud of how they played tonight. You know. So and as Chris said, you, you know, you 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 come out without. Uh, injuries or losing somebody, right? You know what I mean. Um, so, hundred percent. Yeah, I think uh, you just got to hit the drawing board and keep doing what you're doing because it has been it has been very productive. And I, I agree, Chris. You know, I, in my mind, I think we should have won the Richland game. 
We uh, should have. We should have. We finish out, you know, the Boswell game. Who knows what happens? I mean, it was 6 3. Um, and then, you know, last week's win, I mean, there's three straight wins. You We're going to count the Boswell game as a win. We came back and won. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do that? You can do whatever I you mean, want. I mean, they're counting it as a win. Hey, you're a grown man. You That's do whatever right. you want. That's so first and ten right now for South Lake. You've got six minutes to go. Josie Carson. Lynn looking to throw deep. Oh, he, that, that was a good catch. That was a good catch. That was, yeah, that was good defense by uh, by Harkless. And uh, he just – who was that? Number, number six. Busman with some strong hands on that catch. That was three. Oh, yeah. Harkless was trying to defend yeah. that. It was but good defense by Harkless. It was good, but that's one thing I think that the coaches – this will be a good teaching game, as Juliano says. we got to get our bodies and our heads around because, mm -hmm. again, that's another one of those slow floating balls that were up. That's the third one we've seen that could have easily have been picked if they get their bodies around the court. We can say that up here. We're not – oh, that was almost blocked by Harkless too. 65 to 14, Southlake now leads with 6.44 to go. 66. 66, sorry, to 14. That's why Jack does numbers. <laughs> well, not we got any more mic drops from anybody? We do. I just uh, – and play them. Hi, this is Gavin Ricks, Halton Class of 2017, and you're listening to the Buffalo Broadcast with Jack, Chris, Cole, and Joe, and Julian. Go Buffs. Go. You may talk to him in a minute. Who, Gavin? Yeah. No. I saw him um, earlier in the summer. Talked to him for a little bit, yeah. How's He's he doing? He's doing all right. He's doing all right. Actually, I saw him out uh, at dinner with Johnny Smith Ryder. Oh, Since no he, kidding. Yeah. Wow, the crowd noise went down. Imagine that. Look at that. <laughs> 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 we can almost hear ourselves. I like the crowd noise. I know. Hey, our next game, is that at the black hole or the fact, Joe? Uh, blue is fact. All right. So there's the kickoff. It's going to go in the end zone. Beep. Halton's going to get it first and 10 from their own 25 with 644 to go here in the game. Let me look that up. It takes you a little bit, I know. Wait, you yep. got a schedule right there. On the, the oh, book. yeah, I do. Yeah, look at that. Maybe we should keep that book. I have one in my, I have one in my bag. I have one in, I have two in my bag. You keep one, Chris. I don't have one. Oh, well, he said he had one in his bag. So Can you that's see my baseball? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Isn't that what he so said? Wrong. That's yes. what I thought he said. We are a diabetics nightmare up here with all the candy. Oh, this I'm, <laughs> I'm throwing mine away. Yeah. No. Uh, the black hole was, is going to be. Okay, where do we play next week? The fact? The fact. Okay. Moore is going to take it, roll off to the left side. He's going to keep it himself and just gets taken down by about six dragons for a loss of one. I don't understand that call with the quarterback down there, but okay. Yeah, we have uh, Timber Creek October 20th at the Black Hole. Very winnable game. And Eaton October 27th, and that's senior night at the Black Hole. And again, another winnable game this year. I'm good. No Skittles? No. Those are nerds, aren't they? Oh, these oh are those Skittles. are the Skittles? Oh, my goodness. I don't need those. Roberson coming over in motion. Three receiver set. Moore's looking to throw, looking to throw. He's, He's looking to deep. throw deep. He's got DQ Barnes. Oh, oh man. man. He laid out for that. It's out of bounds, but I love the effort by Moore. I do, too. He completely did a full body layout on that play. I love the throw. I love the call. Yeah. And uh, love the effort. Jack's leaving us. I'm going to mess with the sound while he's gone. Lock the door. Can we lock it? No. Uh oh. <laughs> that had been funny, though. You know how peaceful it is now with Jack on <laughs> So we're looking at a third and 11 right now for the Buffaloes. Uh, we got 5.54 to go here in the game. Two running back set. Moore's back 
in the gun. He's going to hand off to Roberson, who gets popped and gain of five. five. So Don't bring up Buffalo down. will punt the ball. Brings on Grady Tucker. Did they say Braden Tucker? Grady. Okay. I was about to say, uh, you got it wrong. Tucker. Not a bad pretty, kick. Pretty and good kick. Yeah. It's going to be brought down at the 41, 42. 36. No, thir 37. 37. Yeah. We just punted Jack. Any missing. I think I had like 15 Dr. Peppers. <laughs> <laughs> we tried to lock the door. What's it your sugar lock, at? Though. It's probably high. All right, let's test it out. No, I don't have my thing on tonight. I forgot to put it on. No, I don't want to know. I should know. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a very good attitude to have, yeah. Jack. <laughs> We're concerned about you, know buddy. My sugar is. 504 to go here in the game. South Lake takes over first and 10 from their own 37 yard line. Linden at quarterback. He's going to hand off to Irwin, who's breaking it up the middle. Wow. Still running. Breaking tackles. It's still running. Looks like Mike Allstott back in his day. And takes it all the way down to the 37-yard line of Haltom. Good run by that young man. He's down about the bottom of the 37-yard line. Brought down by Elijah Brandon. Josiah Spusa. It's good for another. Okay, so we're going to call volleyball. Yeah. Does anybody do know how they're doing? Because I try to look, and there's no updates. If y'all know the coaches, tell them to update their scores, please, on Twitter. Something. <laughs> I get in there and look, and I'm like, I can't find anything. Uh, hey, you know who we need to help out this year? Tennis. Uh, 30 love? No, I got friends. 15 love? Uh, that means. Irwin's going to be run up the middle. So, Haltom Tennis, they always have a good team. They're, they're started off good and strong right now. Uh, they're going to be doing a couple fundraisers, Joe. Yeah. Uh, we've all been part of the Booster Club before, so I think they're going to be looking for some Booster Club members. Uh, they're <coughs> going to get one started. So we're going to start passing that word around. So anything you guys can do to help, give any advice, uh, those guys would really appreciate it over on the tennis side. Uh, great kids over there for all of our programs at Halton. I thought Lynn was going to keep it. Irwin's going to keep it. He's not going anywhere. So, good pursuit by the Buffaloes for a loss of two. Yep. You know, going back to the tennis, uh, Chris, you know, you and I were talking. I think a pickleball tournament. You know, they do a little pickleball tournament out there. No, not I, really. I as you I, know, I, No, I agree. You really? Yeah. 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 You yeah. you do a little buy-in pickleball tournament, you know. Oh, you that'd pay be, for you a mean team for, yeah, okay. for, for a fundraiser. For a fundraiser. Know? Yeah. What do you mean, yeah. Jack, you can play. I'll just sit there and call the games. Yeah. Three sixteen left on the clock here in the game. Because if I go out there, I'm going to pull a muscle. Lynn. Oh, good pass, good I catch. I didn't know where he was throwing. I'm leaning back in the chair, and I didn't see. I was like, oh, you didn't God. see him. You thought he was throwing. Yeah, to the I was. For, yeah. his, I thought he was throwing to six. And he had fifteen on the sideline. So, yep. Volleyball one and four. Oh, awesome! Thank you. Thank you, Coach Fears. Is that Coach Fears? Mm -hmm. Coach Fierce, we have challenged you and called you out <laughs> three to four times now. We're just too chicken to take you on. No, I, mean, I don't I think mean, she, she doesn't it's respond. Reality. I, I know. I think the fear starts setting in with her, hence the oh, last name Fierce. Oh, yeah, uh, <laughs> where she's like, you know, these guys are serious. They're going to take it to us on the court, you know. Oh, oh my gosh. That was gone. Picked. Almost picked off. Oh, Xavier man. Bird had that pick six. That was he a good saw read. it. He had the great read. That it was a screen pass out to the right. Bird jumped the gun, you know, jumped the route. Ah, he had it in his hands, but I think he was looking in end zone before he secured the yeah. ball. Bounced out of his hands, or he was gone for a touchdown. But Co Coach Fears, I want to point something out. You know, Jack and I are just being really quiet. The one that's talking all the noise is Chris. <laughs> well, she says she's ready. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> she's ready. <laughs> so, Coach Fears, you know how we're going to do this, right? You remember uh, remember the movie Grown Ups where they had the basketball tournament at the end and then Adam Sandler and his team came out to that music? That's going to be us. Yeah. 
yeah. with the tank tops. Dude. Belly, the belly showing. No, Everything. that's from Semi Pro. I, oh, say, we do I that. say we do Semi Pro, Jackie Moon. Jackie Moon headbands and yeah. everything. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> there is five of us now. We have five of we us. If we ever get Cole to show up, we can, we've got five we of can, us. Yeah, we and can we can scroll get a, out there, you know. Hey, we can get a couple of subs, right? I can I can bring the, the broadcast crew from uh, Toller in to help out. Mean, it's the broadcast guys against the coaches. So, uh, I mean, how fun would that be? Dude. We could talk Coach Hatcher to be on our team. Oh, great Ooh, play. Nice. So Damian Wayne comes in from the uh, his linebacker spot and drops Irwin for yeah, a loss. Yeah, drops Irwin for a loss of one. It's going to bring up fourth and 11 here for the Dragons <coughs> with a minute 24 to go. See, it's sad to see the game's almost over. We're getting Coach Fears all riled up. I know. Uh, so. <laughs> Uh, but, Coach, you can tell your husband, I know, uh, whatever we can do to help out with uh, Booster Club or fundraisers, let us know. Oh, is he running the tennis? Yeah. Oh, coach, I didn't yeah. know got, that. Yeah, yeah, he's uh. the tennis coach. So they have a really good team this year. So, uh, But, yes, we also would like to come out and call a couple of volleyball games again this year. And there's Irwin up the middle on fourth down. It's going to be a turnover. Halton's going to take over. Uh, I don't know if I really know how to call tennis. 50. So well, well, I didn't say tennis. you had to call it's tennis. Zero no, lo- it's zero like no. 15 it's zero love. It's love. Everything's love. love. Everything's love. Yeah. yeah. 15. Football. Fo- no, I know that, but I just don't know, like. And then you yeah. got McEnroe. Not I don't. Fast yeah, eight. see, if I'm playing tennis, I'm I'm more like John McEnroe. Kind of. Dude, but we can that call was it. In. Hey, if we go that call was a, in. If, we, if we call a tennis match, I am going out in a polo, a yes. headband, and I'm bringing my own racket to put on the table. All right, 51 All right. seconds left in the game. Wristbands, too. Let's do it. Handoff. Handoff for a loss of two, and there's going to be one more play, and then we're going to take this one to the house tonight. But, yeah. But we're going to call volleyball, right, Joe? Yep. Because we, we did that a couple of, last year, actually, yeah. and the year before we called volleyball. We called volleyball, volleyball basketball. Yeah. I like basketball, too. So. Yeah. We've been at baseball. What else do we need to call? I, I agree with uh, tennis and then uh, getting a pickleball tournament going for those fine folks over there. Fine folks. folks. Call golf. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm, that means we have to walk. <laughs> <laughs> with the 12 seconds mind. left on the game. Rich. Rich. Great run oh. by Rich for about seven yards, and that's going to do it. Yes. Four, three, two, one. So your Buffaloes fall t- to the Dragons tonight, 66 to 14. We knew this was going to be a tough matchup for Haltom uh, against South Lake, but you know the uh, Buffaloes fall to one and one. You know, here's the one thing I'm going to look at this as a bright spot. You got South Lake out of the way. Yeah. Right. Early in the season, early in district, you got them out of the way. You're coming in with a victory. You, you take the loss tonight, but. You got them out of the way. But that's all right. Let's regroup. That's that's a good way to see it, Chris. I agree with you. You know, you're not you're not uh, you're not, not looking at them, dread, you know? yeah. dreading it the whole year. You know, so to speak. You know, yeah. so I agree with you. Now we can focus on uh, on on like you said the the games that uh, we really got a shot at winning and uh, possibly you know, we win enough of them, like you said, playoff berth. I mean, four teams right now. I mean, that that four teams make it. Again, we're only two games in the district. We're one and one. We're right in the hunt. Byron Nelson's next. We got a bye next week. Uh, next week will be a good week to call volleyball. Oh, I can't. I can't do Friday and I can't do Tuesday. Did the, oh my gosh, the Rangers won a game. Coach Bodie uh, Fears said he wanted to thank us for supporting them. Oh, sure thing, Coach. Yeah, anytime. Anytime. Anything we can do to help. Well, we're right, small, guys. but we're mighty. I think that's toward Joe. Yeah, oh, we're small, but we're mighty. Yeah, <laughs> dude. <laughs> throw some of my hot sauce in your eyes. You'll watch. We out. do want to thank to, to Cholula Hot Sauce over here. Somebody, did you Spices? bring that or did Jack? Bring dude, that? this is in my bag. Okay. I'm bringing it with me all the time. Well, now. maybe I'll just bring the Hershey bar for everything. <laughs> All right, so the Buffaloes fall in that 66-14 to South Lake. Thanks for everybody that that hung out with us. Uh, and laughed with us and had a good time. So we do appreciate it, as always. There is a bye next week. Uh, we're going to look at trying to call a volleyball this next week. Uh, we'll see when the, when the girls play. Love to go out and support them, as always. Uh, 
we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Uh, Buffalo's fall to one and one in district. But other than that, what do you have, Joe? Let's wrap it up. You know what? Um, there were there were some bright spots uh, that we had out on the field today, and, and <clears throat> like we talked about earlier, you know, uh, positive note. Nobody nobody was injured. We didn't lose anybody for the year. None of that stuff. Um, we we found. Some of our weaknesses were pointed out tonight, so we know what to work on. We know what adjustments we need to make and, and the, the things that we need to do. And as you stated earlier, we have a bye next week, so we have that couple of weeks to work on that before we hit Byron Nelson. So I, I think, um, you know, tonight you were going to have to bring your A game and then some. So, uh, you know, we put 14 on, on South Lake. I was looking at Max Preps. I think uh, South Lake has zeroed two of their opponents this year. Mm-hmm. So that that that's a good point, you know, for Halton. Yep. I always love when Coach Tucker does this. He always shows respect to the other school and has the <coughs> players stand for the other school's alma mater while they're playing. But South Lake just did the same for Halton. So for Coach Dodge, they got a lot of respect between each other, I think. Uh, so, Jack, final thoughts? My final thought is uh, I still love these guys. They're fun. They're fun. I, I think we're going to have a, a, a good season. You know, it's, it, it, doesn't, it's, it is about W's, but it isn't all about W's. And I love that these guys are, are working hard to, you know, compete even in some of the more, more challenging uh, com- competitions that they're going to have. So looking forward to the re- rest of the season for them. So, yep. Marissa Pruitt, you asked who scored our touchdowns. Uh, Devin Ramirez Powell with a 52 yard run. Yeah. And then, and then uh, Jallo. Jallo with, I think, like a 30 yard yeah. reception. Yeah. So, all right. Well, that's going to do it tonight from us up here in the booth. We appreciate it. And you guys have a great evening. If you are driving home, stay safe. And we will talk to you next week. Spicy out. Spicy out.